and good afternoon everyone how are we doing on this lovely lovely sunday midori welcome on in congratulations on being first how are we doing today y'all welcome in hopefully everyone's weekend has been grand what is up faith hello hello it's the pretty fellow where i what the the pokemon Genghis Khan? Ganga Khan? Ganga, 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 Kangas Kong. Kangas Kong. I don't know why I want to say Genghis Kong. Either way. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess it's a kind of a pretty Pokemon if you... Um... You know, I don't, I don't think Genghis Kong is very pretty. Anyway, Silvermoon, welcome on in. Thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciate that. Hopefully your day is going fantastic. What them horns do, I guess? Uh, well, they probably impale and penetrate a good bit, I would imagine. That's probably a key component of them horns. But how's everyone's, how's everyone's Sunday going? How's everyone's weekend, man? Hopefully everyone's been doing well today. Yeah, we've got a great stream ahead of us. We're gonna be continuing our campaign of good old Festus the Leech Lord, the Leech Lord, uh, and spreading the good word of Papa Nurgle's name as we give the Empire lots of plague, pestilence, and rot. And actually, I think last stream, we started to spread a little bit into Kislev as well. So no Empire of Man is safe from our pestilence spread. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I, I watched like, um, went to the beach tonight? Holy shit, I wish I could go to the beach. I wish there was a beach here. I'm in a very landlocked state. There's no beaches here. I wish I could go to a beach. It's been so long, but I am doing well. I woke up really late. I guess I was up really late because I was watching that uh, blindfolded uh, Breath of the Wild run last night. That shit was wild. That was amazing. Like the me the dude beat a Breath of the Wild speed run blindfolded and being able to navigate and just the sheer amount of memorization it would have taken to be able to know where you are at any given time and to be able to like count your steps and everything like that because it's like a certain amount of steps to go from point a to point b and shit and that that was impressive to watch the person play through that i've watched a hideous amount of game of thrones i heard i've never watched game of thrones right and um and uh from everything i've heard of game of thrones from about the final seasons makes me not really want to watch game of thrones Apparently the writers are just not very good when it came to finishing off the finishing off the series without any more source material from JRR. So here we are. Anyways, I'm going to probably never watch Game of Thrones given I heard it ends horribly and the last 3 seasons are a bit of a drag. He did so many headshots blindfolded. He did so many everything blindfolded. Imagine setting up all of these bow shot skips blindfolded. You can't see where you're aiming and it's like very precise because like to get the to get the wind blight skip it's a very precise setup you have to do and a very precise setup you have to like aim at and like i watched a video of the setup for someone who's not blindfolded and that shit's difficult imagine doing that shit blindfolded scarily impressive skill it was impressive it was very good i recommend watching that vod when it gets uploaded on youtube uh, it is worth watching, but you have to be at peace with the last season being bad and that everyone you love probably dies. That's not a problem. It's the bad writing that's the problem. I don't really want to invest time and F. I don't want to invest time in something that I know ends poorly and not poorly in the sense that like the, 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 the characters die or something or it's like a sad end. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I don't want to invest time in something that I know ends with sh shit tier writing. Because I've seen the synopsis of the ending, right? It's garbage fucking writing. It's like fucking high school level storytelling at the end of there. It, you just, I was reading through it and I went, how the fuck did you go through all of this like intricate, well thought out plot? And then you go to like bottom of the barrel, lowest common denominator garbage in the final uh, few seasons. And it's like, there's such a drop in storytelling and and just like the plot many of the actors were angry at their own character decisions in the end i imagine because like <clears throat> you sign up for this role it goes great for how many seasons you're like oh hell yeah this is like the role i'm going to be known for and then it becomes that and you're like oh no this is the role i'm going to be known for 
And I mean, it's like, I, I imagine they were angry and rightfully so. The, the, the fucking writing was atrocious and the actors can't do anything about the writing. They, they have almost no say in the writing in a large majority of these things, especially anything that's not like, like something like The Office where it was 90% improv, the actors, sure, they had a say in what happened because it was mostly them improving. On this, where it's a very scripted show of, of a team of writers, I don't think the actors get much say in what they get to do. So yeah, I imagine they were quite angry at what was going on and all of that culminating together. I don't want to watch Game of Thrones. However, comma, <clears throat> I heard, um, uh, what is it called? House of the Dragon. I have heard, I've heard House of the Dragon is quite good thus far. Hopefully it doesn't get ruined, but House of the Dragon I've heard is very good. So that's like the, uh, like a prequel type thing, right? So I've heard that is decent. I might check that out. Here's the thing, I have so many things I need to watch anyways. Even if I would check it out, um, it's gonna be at like the bottom of an ever-growing list that never seems to shrink because I never get time to actually watch anything on it. It's pretty slow, but the costume design is good. Well, it's good. Having, having good costumes is also important. Just watch something else if you aren't invested in the world already. Fair enough. I mean, by all means. Um, yeah, I'm not, I- Ah, God damn it. Ah, that hurt. Hello, Guyan. How are you doing? Yeah, if, I imagine if it if it wasn't, or I, 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 you're right. I mean, I'm not super invested in Game of Thrones world. I don't really care enough to get invested in it. I, I probably won't uh, 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 get into it. Right? What is up, Heart? Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Oh, welcome in, y'all. <clears throat> we are just about ready to get started with some good old Total War and playing some good old Festus the Leech Lord, the Leech Lord. Just reminds me of Felipe Felipe. I don't know if anyone ever played Frog Fractions. Also, hi, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Ah, uh, you were the guy with the fabulous hat. It is a pretty fabulous hat, I will give you that. Frog Fractions? Oh my, someone doesn't know of Frog Fractions? It is quite old at this point. Anyways, hello, TM School. Welcome on in. How are you doing? The hat is indeed quite fabulous. How are you doing today? Anyways, Frog Fractions. Why? I mean, let me see. I saw you in the Lost stream and the hat stuck with me. <laughs> very good. I the the hat is very good. I don't know why. I don't know why you would remove the hat after someone was just like, "Oh, it looks really cool." And then you just take that away from them. Seems like a dick move to do to do to the person coming in, but whatever. What whatever. That's just your MO. Uh I would I would, I I assume so. We'll go with it. But yes. Oh, welcome on in. Uh what is a video of frog fractions? about 20 minutes so frog fractions was a really cool game that um well you're about a frog and you got to solve these math equations and then you and then you learn about the history of boxing of felipe felipe and you go to space and you there's like a dragon you ride on and uh uh you have to do a you have to get solve a text adventure and and various other things and all of this is and you go to space with frogs yes um hmm. hold on adorable yeah ad adorable that's that's what we'll call it Let me, let me check something. Oh, a wild, wild Cresselia. Zomad, you spawned, spawned a legendary. What are you doing? Sounds like a hopping good time. I'm trying to find something, right? I'm trying to find something. I'm I want to see if there's a video that can show this off really quick. Isn't that the game where it just changes styles every five minutes? Uh, and, and, and no, not at all. <laughs> it's a really goofy game. 
Oh, I completely forgot that there's a whole section where you start a bug porn emporium. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? We have to just play Frog Fractions one of these days. Hey, I hope you've been doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Welcome in, Dory and Zomat. Hope you guys are doing well. A what emporium? Um, uh, uh, bug porn. Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, they... I thought it was a flash game. I thought I could play it for free. I don't want to have to pay money for it. Bug porn stream? Bug porn stream. It's, it's, it's a game for sure. Uh... I'm trying to find a great video that just shows off the entirety of it, but I think it's more of a game that you have to experience. It's like an hour to play through it. Do I want to... We could pivot and I could show off this game and it's ridiculous. It's a goofy ass game, but it, it, it'd probably take like an hour. Do it? Mm. Okay, here, I'll do a poll. There we go. One minute poll of what we do for the start of the stream. If you want to see the frog fractions, I can buy it on Steam really quick and we could play this. But I will let I will let uh stream decide. It'll probably take, I don't know, about a about a uh an hour or so. He's taking me to the Bug Porn Emporium. You're goddamn right. It looks like it looks like the stream is voting on it. Oh boy. That's, that's not exactly what it is, but I mean, all right, all right, all right, all right. Chat wants to see this. Is there actually, oh my God, there's actually a category for this on Twitch. That's amazing. Okay. We're going to tra we're going to, we're going to pivot into frog fractions for about the first hour or so for however long it takes me to beat this game it's it's a fucking trip are you are we truly to blame when you made us want to see this i mean like i don't it's it's a weird game made that final boss in final fantasy 10 get so much more fun oh yeah also final fantasy 10 is an amazing game okay i could probably just run this at the same time as i have um i'm sorry it's way too dank i know Hold on. Um, I have to exit this. Um, I need to swap to here. I need to change the capture. Hold on. Ow! That hurt. Hey, Vay, thank you very much for the T1 sub. Welcome on in. I hope you I very much appreciate the support. Thank you very much for that. And, and welcome on it and enjoy the emotes. Um, oh, I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet game capture display don't work on this. Let's do. Where's window capture? Where's window capture? Oh, I don't have a window capture on this scene. 
That that is how jank this game is. Window capture of frog fractions. Oh god, it's so big. It's so big. Uh let's rescale this motherfucker. Alright, there we go. That's a lot of emotes. It is a lot of emotes. You can thank everyone with, with their generosity last September during September. I unlocked all of the emote slots that I can get as an affiliate. Uh, Final Fantasy X might be my favorite Final Fantasy just because it's actually turn-based instead of ATB. Ooh, that's also a good point. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. It did swap audio sources. I just had my own source muted so you guys couldn't hear it. All right, here we go. Here's some nice music. All right, we're going to play Frog Fractions. This is, uh, this is a game for sure. Full screen, colorblind mode. Okay, there we go. Eating sounds? Eating sounds. All right, chat. <laughs> game? Game. Oh, it mutes when I tab out. One second. I'm just gonna, just gonna do something really quick. Uh, I'm gonna... Bump, 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 bump. Let me just type this on Twitter. Okay, there we go. The tongue is dramatic. It's a very dramatic tongue. All right, let's get into it. Play Frog Fractions. And look, you're a little froggy. Wave one. No, oh, leave my apples alone. Leave my apples alone. I don't know how to read this score. I got eight, uh, I got three fourths. Let's go, I got seven thirds. Nine fifths and three fourths and nine sevenths. Whoa. Get away from my apples. They're my apples. All right, we gotta get an update, uh, upgrade. What the fuck, fractions? It's frog fractions, what are you expecting? Let's see, lock on targeting, this eyeball installed, auto targeting help. Uh, make a glowy list. Ooh, okay, let's get lock on targeting. That sounds good. Wave one. Today we learn about fractions. We do. And now I don't even have to aim. Look, it's auto targeting for me. The best tongue upgrade. Ah. Oh. I will be lurking. Have a great stream. Hey, Peach, thank you very much for stopping in and lurking. I appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. We are just eating some bugs here in frog fractions. No, 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 no. Cracked already? Exactly. Frog Fractions would be a very different game. Oh, Frog Factions. What would that game involve? Static Cling Tongue. Rub balloons together against your tongue before extending it, and nearby bugs will stick to one another. Science! Uh, or... Anything your regular old frog brain can do, this newfangled cybernetic frog brain can do better. And it costs eight Zork mids. Wait, how many Zork mids do I have? Oh, I have 13 Zork mids, guys! Let's get the brain upgrade! Oh yeah, look how smart I am. Oh shit! We've evolved! We've gone past fractions! Now we've got decimals! Holy shit! Fractions? That shit's a thing of the past. We decimals now. Oh my god, I'm so smart. I'm getting so smart from this game. Oh, chat, can you feel your brains growing from all of the various fractions we're learning? Look at this. Oh, this was worth all of the Zork mids. All right, let's get... Oh, we gotta get, we gotta get the turtle so we can get the fruit on the side. Yeah! Now we can get even more apples. Give me these apples. Nyom, nyom, nyom. Aw, oh, yeah, we're gonna get this apple. While we still learn about fractions and zork mids. No, this one's gonna fall. No, it fell! I missed it! Nom, 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 nom. Will this be on the test? Yes. There will be a test. Remember that, chat. Make sure to keep in mind what you're doing here. Your score? My score is amazing! Durians! They smell awful, so bugs will take longer to eat them. We can upgrade our fruit to durians! Let's go, baby! 
Rock Crash is teaching. He's typing. No. None. Tone. We're typing class now. Tooth. Tenth. Noun. Teeth. No, that's not how you spell teeth. Ah! N. Own? Hunt. Onto. Onto? Onto the. Can I move? No. I cannot. Nom, nom, nom. All right, all right. Typing class is over. All right, now we've got the static upgrade where we can now static shock these motherfuckers. <laughs> Electricity. Nom, 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 nom. Hunt seems fitting for this channel. Hunt what? Huh? What are we hunting? No, get away from my fruits! Nyom. Home, home, home. Dreamed a demon hunter on Twitch would say motherfuckers while playing their game. Absolutely, they did. Okay, dragon? Upgrade your turtle friend to a dragon friend? He will love his new dragon shape. I swear, that shell was just holding him back. Everyone knows turtles upgrade into dragons. These nuts. Oh shit, we gotta dodge things now. They're shooting us, chat. No, no, the durian's falling. Ah! No, I'm not getting any durians. Oh, give me these durians. Our score is 3.3 each to the second. Oh my god. I got hit. I've been hit, chat. Dragons are just showless turtles. They are. Warp drive? <gasps> Install a warp drive on your flying dragon. Now he will really take you places. Oh, we don't have enough fruit. We need 25,000 fruit for this. Okay, well. We'll just have to save up, save up some fruit. Oh, shit. We got a tight. Sheet. Sash. Et etunate. Oh, no. These are weird words. I'm not ready for this. Sunstone? Yo, we upgrading? Nosh. Submerge. Nuns. Why is it farting when I do this? Aunts? No! I can't move when doing this. I'm letting all the durian durians go away. Unseat. Man, we, we still don't have enough fruit. We need 25,000 fruit for this. All right. All right. We'll just continue on. Meow. All right, all right. A work visa requires the warp drive. You're only going to a country on a temporary basis. So you're gonna need to give it your all while you have the chance. Okay, fair enough. The PR department, when we get the work visa. Uh, this well-trained team of marketers ensures that your public has the correct impression of you. We can get some dance shoes when we get the PR de department. Very important because if we're gonna be a professional dancer, we need to have shoes that fit the job. A voice modulator after we get the PR de department. That is, is so impressive because we need a deep, booming voice. Our surgeons are on call 24 hours a day to give it to me at a moment's notice, so anytime I want it. Bug drugs? Ah. Okay, so if we drug the water supply, this will pacify the delinquent bugs and they'll 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 stay home and coincidentally and watch bug porn, which is exactly what we want of all of these bad bugs in the world. And then we can get some meteorology satellites once we get the voice modulators so that we can control them with our voice and a subsystem of satellites to help your meteorologists provide more accurate and precise weather forecasts once we get three million Zorkmids. 
Also, we can get some padlocks to the bug porn storage so that the bugs, you know, stop stealing all of it. Anyways, and we can get the presidential swimming pool, which is heated, by the way. And that is the final goal at 5 million Zork mids, chat. Don't you worry, we'll get there. Uh, no, we're good on that. Okay, enough durians, chat. Ah! Like a billion fruit! This is frog fraction time! Look at all this fruit we have! Oh yeah. Alright. Easy clap chat. Easy. Now we just need to buy now we just need to buy our warp drive. We have like a billion fruit. We just don't have enough Zork maids. No, come back. I want this. Come here. No. All of them fruit. This looks like a wholesome kids game. I never expected it to be bug porn to be real. It's bug porn, baby. To space. No. Bugs in space. Jump. Jump. Womp. Jump. Jump. Mine. I oh my god, racist bugs! They hate dragons! I can't believe these bugs. Oh my god, we're going to Bug Mars! We're gonna show these bug motherfuckers what's going on. How dare they shoot at me? We're gonna blow up their planet, as I tell you what. This will teach them to mess with Frog America. I'm sorry that I let it push me around. God, I can't believe you guys. No! Where are we going? We're into Bug Mars! No refuge. Uh, oh my god, what is this? Bing, bing, bing. Die! Die! You are under arrest! Thank you for. No! No! Stop arresting me! Let me go! Oh god. You're not really addressed record. I'll, I'll, I'll be waiting when you get out. I promise. Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking entry into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with the intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? God damn, these bugs got us! These bugs took us in! Uh, I plead. Oh God, I'm surrounded by bugs! <laughs> These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor, but there's a special offer this week. How would you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Uh, your honor, let's see. <laughs> Get them off! Get the bugs off! Ah! ah, shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? <laughs> well, now what do we get? <laughs> Peristalsis. Uh, Synecdoche. I don't know. Bugs? Bugs! Oh my god, they definitely represent bugs. Crushing our enemies in our powerful mandibles. Protecting my precious space fruit from you goddamn commie space bugs, your honor. God damn commie space bugs. I can't believe we all have to stand for this shit out here in Frog America. These goddamn commie bugs. That's um, actually correct. Oh my God. Next question on the series, 
Bug Jersey Shore. What is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Ah, uh, trick question. Ice cream is unheard of on Bug Mars because of the climate. Well, I had to try, didn't I? Four score and 20 bugs ago, Bug in Chief, Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable right we are blessed with the inalienable right of... The right to parade around the courtroom in only your knickers. I don't think I wear clothes, so that doesn't really apply to me. Luckily, you're only granted that right once we're uh, already a citizen. During the War of Bug 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes Bugs? Wait, you're naked now? I am naked! What in the America with the commie bugs? Oh god, bugs are everywhere. They bite! Oh, they bite! Oh, they bite, 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 bite! <laughs> 420, I swear, they counted them twice. That's not just a pot joke. A shameful moment in our history. He regretted it for the rest of his life. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? Oh man, I love them. I was told there'd be no math on this exam. They're an intuitive way to represent a non-integer value. Uh, I actually learned, I'm actually learning slightly towards scientific notation these days. Uh, I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? <gasps> no. Well, I, I, I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to issue a work visa. If you'll just sign here. Bugs, 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 bugs! <laughs> just ask Mr. Bugs John Hancock. Okay. Let me just make a nice little signature here. Uh-huh. 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 Give some of these. Give some of these. Give it one of these. And done. Ah! Frog fractions are the best fractions! Oh god, yes, we gotta get back to eating bugs back here on, on Bug Mars. Was that a talking burger? No. But chat, we got our work visa, baby! We can work on Mars now! As we control the bug populace and we eat all of them. No! No! It fell! All right. Purchase an MR, um, MIRV tongue in- Oh, okay, I didn't get to read it. Uh, no, it costs 2,000 Zork mids. Man, we can't afford it. Frog Fresh is teaching typing- Oh, no! Dunk. Uh, adenosine. Uh, stend. Enthuse. No, I missed a T. Wow. <laughs> Assassin. Assassin bud. Bug. Hot headed. Uh, outshine. Tim School, thank you very much for the for the follow and welcome on in. Hope your day is going fantastic. Assiduous. Uh, ad adhesion. Uh, satiated? Ah! We love uh, assassins, don't we all? No thanks. I, I I don't need bugs, thank you very much. Alright. Let's go get that thing we dropped. Wait, no, now where are we? We're in the depths of Mars? Mars has an ocean? As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end, oh. until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next oh, I see. few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. I see, I didn't know boxing started that way. So you would just... So you would just tell stories to each other until one of you got so bored you would fall over dead. It's amazing. I love that sport. Come on, dragon, let's go. I want to go down this path. 
This path seems cool. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637. The punching he strategy. The boy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate Sleepless Bill Bishop, to a match, Bishop was the odds on favorite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. That's so smart! If the goal is to regale each other with tails until the other person passes out, if you just punch them in the face and make them pass out, you win! Holy shit, that's smart! What do you think Mr. Mr. Uh, Mermaid is watching? Do you think he's watching mermaid porn? Out here in his... Actually, are we in his home? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have barged into your home. I'll let you enjoy your porn in peace. We shouldn't have gone in there, chat. He was, he was trying to enjoy himself, and we just barged in on our floating dragon. And we were like, hey, what's up, big boy? Ooh, there's a path over there. How do we get there? Maybe fish porn in general? Well, it's probably mermaid porn, right? Because he's a mermaid. I don't think he's like, he likes fish. He's not lost. He's not into fish like her. I think he has some standards, right? Maybe they got fancy carpets in those videos? I don't think the car- I don't think you'd- ...universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game. Officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill, and the rest is history. Oh, After this is how boxing started. Moms, single minded about safety, added the padded gloves, of course. Whoa! Guys, did you know that boxing started this way? So while he didn't. He violated the spirit of it. Of course, there was no rule against it because they never thought about that you would just punch each other. <sighs> but imagine. If those damn school moms didn't mandate we have padded gloves, we could have gotten bare knuckle boxing. That would have been a treat for sure. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification no one, of the modern no one can. set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place. But it's easy it is, to get it is the meta strategy now. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis. And though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. The punching strategy is does seem to be the meta these days. I don't think I don't think you're gonna find many uh, strats that will outshine the punching method. There's a submarine. Can I eat it? Ow. I always thought it started with people putting things in boxes correctly, incorrectly. Well, good thing we played this game chat. Today is an educational stream where I teach you all about the history of boxing. Devs need to drop a new patch since it's getting kind of stale for real, for real. I will agree, but it's very difficult. You, I think you're gonna... Whoa. It's Mecha Mermaid Man. Do you think he's watching Mecha Mermaid porn? Oh shit, we're in his house again. Or in this guy's house. We got to get out. We got to get out. I don't want to I don't want to intrude on him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you I know you were trying to watch your mecha porn. I'll let you, I'll leave you to it. The real wonder though is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week. And what? Two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. No way. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while, you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away. 
only to return to fight again another day. No way. Chat, we should take a field trip to go visit visit a boxing ring so that we can see... Is this a spaceship? Peace, bitches! I'm out of here! We found a spaceship, chat! Oh, shit! Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped. You feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start t uh, taking in your surroundings for the first time since seeing the seemingly dormant vessel spring to life. This is almost this is almost more interesting than the video of Dio singing Despacito. I've seen that. That's a good video. There's a lot of AI Dio covers for whatever reason. It's a very scaly spaceship. It's a very good... Th wait, do you think we took our dragon with us? Did we shove the dragon into this spaceship? Oh, that poor dragon. He's probably really crammed in the, uh, in the cargo hold. Uh, whatever. I'm sure he'll be fine. Command module. The walls of this circular room curved to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. Uh, if you don't know how to get started, type help and press enter. Uh, what next? Okay, help. Uh, this is a story that you interact with by simply entering English commands. Some examples, look around, or just look. Examine ball, or just X ball. We better have taken him. He's been with us for so long. You're right. I think we shoved him in the cargo hole. I sure hope. I think the spaceship is made from the dragon. No, that can't be true. The spaceship was already there and we found it with our dragon. We took our dragon with us. And finally, remember the adventure gamers maxim. If it's possible to do, it must be good and wise. You know what? That's actually so true in video games. Okay, let's look around. What do we got? The walls of this circular room curved to meet at a point that must correspond to the hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing uh, display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. Uh, okay. What can I do with the porthole? Um, X porthole. Look uh, through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to you. Oh. Dragon became the spaceship? It's like Wind Waker? No, it's not true. The dragon is with us. Maybe they merge together? No, the dragon is with us. I believe that I'm going to call him Felipe, Felipe, Felipe. Felipe, Felipe, Felipe is definitely with us still, and he's my friend, damn it. Um, what else do we have? X display. Glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked and an ETA of about 3,000 years. Uh, looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled route details and new destination. Um, push button. Uh, the nav computer dumps you into an interface so obtrusive that uh, so obtruse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you hit the back button and are at the main map again. Oh, uh, push new destination. Damn, okay. Um, look, X control deck. The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override these ship's autopilots because these are definitely not frog joysticks. Shit! I completely forgot we're a frog. We don't have the dexterity in our hands to be able to maneuver this. Okay, shit. Um, what can we do? Pour orange juice into glass. There was, that was just an example. There's no juice in space. Oh. Oh. Um, climb ladder. You clamber across the ladder. Captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder lies on t uh, to the fore. The oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Um, you use wrench? We can't use wrench. We don't have a wrench. That was just an example. There are no wrenches in space, Zomad. Come on, keep up with the times. X rug. This decorative oriental uh, rug sits in the center of the room. Looking at it more closely, it doesn't quite lay flat on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. Mm, move rug. Moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below. 
Your score has just gone up by two fifths of a point. <gasps> we got more points. What is up, Mr. Big Chubby? Welcome on in. How are you doing? It's a ditto. That is not a ditto. Okay. Um. You discover a recessed hatch. Open hatch. You have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. X hatch. The hatch is open. Okay. Enter hatch. Ah, let's see. Let's see. You slip through the hatch. How are all the cuties doing today? I don't know. You'd have to ask chat. That would be them. No, you made it run away. How could you do that? That was an actual ditto. It looked like another Pokemon, which I guess does make sense. Hmm. Engine room. Nearly every surface in the room is covered with a sticky pink goop. No! Which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There's a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. Ah. Uh, X goop. A thin coating of sticky pink goop covers every surface of the room. Chat, I'm not going to do it near a gray machine sitting in the corner. I'm going to examine the machine. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. Yes, do it. No. Read paper. This is the out of order note included in your game package. Oh. Mm. No, no, not goop! Stop getting excited for the goop! What can we do? What can we do? Um, read pamphlet. That was just an example. There are no pamphlets in space. Oh. Enter phone booth. There are no phone booths in space. Push button. I don't understand what you want to push. Push that button. Oh. Uh... Eat the goop. I'm not doing that. We're not eating the goop. Turn knob. There are no knobs in space. Oh. Do I have anything in my inventory? You're not holding anything. Pick up goop. The goop is stuck to the surface. <sighs> you are not hungry. Let's go. We're not eating the goop. Okay. X goop. Lick the goop. No, I'm not hungry. It just said I'm not hungry. We're not eating it. Is they are a gray machine sitting in a hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. X hole. Peering into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can that you're guessing doesn't belong there. Oh, wait. Pick up can. You twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've... Uh, rip the insulation off of an adjacent wire in the process and it begins sparking as it comes in contact with the adjacent strut. You glance down at what you've taken. It, huh, it really is a coffee can. Um, okay. We've got a coffee can. X machine. Uh, aimed at a flat platform. Put can. You'll have to be more specific as to where you want, to, what you want to do with the can. Put can under spigot. You place the can under the spigot, okay? Um, turn handle. Uh, turn on machine. This is space. Machines aren't on or off here. Machines just are. Okay, you know what, smartass? X machine. Uh, let's see, uh... There's a spigot aimed at a flat fire form. There's an empty coffee can sitting under the spigot. A handwritten note. Okay. How do I turn on the spigot? There is... Wait, it's out of order. We have to fix this, don't we? Shit. Um, it just seems to be thicker near the gray machine. There's a hole in the wall. Okay. There's nothing in the hole, right? Sparking as it makes contact. There's a bare wire in there. Sparking as it makes contact with an adjacent strut. Oh, we need something. We need something to... Okay. Um, climb ladder. We need something to fix that. Uh, there isn't a hatch leading back to the... Oh, wait. Uh, enter hatch. Okay. Ladder sits to the fore. You've pulled the rug, revealing a mach ha 
hatchway leading to the aft. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. X nightstand. Nightstand offers a single drawer, which is closed. Open a drawer. Revealing a thick manual. Read manual. Uh, it's a manual for the navigation computer in the mo uh, command module. After leafing through it, you feel confident. You understand how to use the interface well enough to set up a route back to Bug Mars. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, X sleeping pod. Uh, the sleeping pod looks like a bed with a lid, but you have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? There's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. This is what we need the can of goop for. Okay. Look. Um, okay. So I don't think we can do anything here. Um. See a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. X display. Shows a map. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, new destination. You definitely plot a course back to Bug Mars. The engines roar and you feel a G-forces shift. The ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. Huh. We're going to diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through Bug Customs. Motherfucking Bug Customs. Luckily, you can sleep through most of it. Shit. Okay. Um, Root details. Go back to Bug Mars, and it's going to take half a century. But hey, that's what cold sleep is for. Okay. Look. Um, X control deck. We need to fix the machine. The control deck consists of a pair of switches and joysticks. Okay, climb ladder. Um, enter hatch. Fill can. You don't know what to fill the can with. Fill can with goop. The goop is stuck to the surface. Fuck! Machine consists of a spigot. Uh, there seems to be... Uh, okay, wait. X hole. There's a bare wire. Can I fix the wire? Fix wire. I don't know what you're tr how, how, how you want to fix that. Tape wire? You, you need to be holding tape to tape things. Well, that's that's also fair enough. What the fuck is Bug Mars? It's it's where we're going back to. We're stuck in a space in a in, in, we went we were ex getting the history of Felipe Felipe and now we're stuck in space. Hold on, I need thinking music. Um Okay. Okay. Which is sitting there gray. The wall exposes a nest of wires. There seems to be a Hatch leading back to the, okay, 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 and enter hatch. We gotta find a way to fix that. Uh, look, uh, goop. Is it edible? We've already tried. We're not hungry. This looks like an all-purpose living area. Sleeping pod sits. Uh, enter pod. Your head has been barely touching the pillow when an alarm begins. Perfume chamber empty. You will wake up cranky. You assume it's going to stop eventually, but a couple minutes later, it still hasn't. You get up. There's no way you can sleep like this. Fuck. Um. Fuck. To a nightstand leads to a four. Wait, wait, take rug. We've already taken the rug aside. Shit. Um, sleeping pod six next to a nightstand. X nightstand means a thick manual. Take manual. Taken. Okay. You're holding the thick manual. Okay. Um, use man manual. Um, enter hatch. Use manual on hole. That doesn't go there. Fuck. Um, is boxing an option? If only. Enter hatch. Climb ladder. Uh, lining the walls, you see a porthole. X porthole. Constellations are all unfamiliar to you. You see a background of stars. Damn it. We need, like, tape or something. Under the walls, you see a portal, a glowing display, and a control deck. X display. Now. Look. Help. Get tape. Okay, well, that was worth a try. Get 
wrench. Wrenches don't exist in space. Fuck. Open box. There are no boxes in space. Put plate on placemat. There are no plates in space. Wait, are there placemats? Get placemat. There are no placemats in space. Shit. Get tape. Fuck. Help. X manual. Air manual. Okay. Climb ladder. Tivor, you've pulled the rug to the wrong side, revealing a hatch leading enter hatch. We've got the can under the spigot. How do we turn on the spigot? Which seems to be thicker. There's a wall that exposes a nest. This X machine. Machine consists of a spigot aimed at, 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 a, at, a, at a platform where there's an empty coffee can sitting under the spigot. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily... Wait, tape! Take tape. You rip the tape off the machine. The note comes with it, revealing a control panel. <gasps> X control panel. Most of the control panel is rendered unusable by the sticky pink goop. You see a row of what looks like radio preset buttons, all but two of which are stuck. There's also a big red lever. None of these are legibly labeled. Um. Okay, push button. The raised button clicks into place and the previous uh, selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. Local currency? What is local currency? Um, pull lever. Machine words dispensing local currency, a voice says. A thick stream of Zork mids shoot out of the faucet. They bounce around uh, out of the can and scatter around the room. Holy shit, we got Zork mids, baby. Take Zork mids. You spend a few minutes gathering up the scattered Zork mids. Your points have gone up by a third of a point. Nice. Um, X control panel. Video buttons, all of which but two are stuck. Okay. Push button. Um, you The raise button clicks into place and the previously selected button pops up. Mom specialty says a robotic voice. Okay. Pull lever. Dispensing mom's specialty. The machine says, a thick stream of pink goop streams out. <gasps> we found the goop dispenser. It mostly uh, gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up getting filled. You grab the can. A few drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Oh my god! Atmospheric anomaly detected. A different voice says, a whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into invisible vents, leaving just enough goop floating around to be... Gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. Whoa! The goop was bacon milkshakes? Hell yeah! Mom's specialty is fucking goaded. Okay, um, enter hatch. And then we examine the sleeping pod. Uh, assume it's some sort of suspended anime. I mean, right? There's an, a hole up top next to a gauge reading empty. Fill hole. I don't know. Fill hole with goop. You bring the can close to the hole, and the hole sucks the pink goop right in. The nearby guy gauge fills up. Your score has gone up by nine halves of a point. Oh, yes! Has anyone been uh, keeping track of what our score is? It's been going up by points, but I don't know what we're actually at right now. Um, Enter pod. Okay, you try to sleep, but you can't. That bare wire loose in the engine room might start a fire. Oh, damn it. Enter hatch. Um, examine hole. Use tape on wire. You wrap the tape around the wire, uh, insulating it. Okay, good. Enter hatch. Enter pod. Hell yeah, okay. You lie down in the sleeping pod, close to the lid, and drift off, securing that in 57 and something years, you'll, uh, you'll return to Bug Mars, a wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleeping pod. Barely, uh, you barely glance around to get your bearings, and you have to, and, uh, you appear to have been sleeping on a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already? A wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. 
She bends over and kisses you on the nose, and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps, and you realize they even transmogrified into human form! Holy shit, chat, we're a person! We're not just a frog anymore, baby! Oh my god, look at us! Oh. Um. I. Guys, I. Can we go back to being a frog? I can't. I can't. No! I can't save our. F shit, I can't eat the bugs anymore! Watch out, man, they're eating your fruit! I can't eat it! No! Oh. You awake with a start! What a horrible dream. You call your friend Draggy the Flying. I told you, baby, we took the dragon with us! Draggy the Flying Dragon, just to talk to someone. Hello, Draggy says. Oh, I just had the worst nightmare. And you explain the situation. Not really sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy ponders. Maybe if we first drummed up just a little publicity first. Uh, I don't know. I, I know just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up here at your door, just to the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. <laughs> and that is the story of how we're going to take the presidency, chat. Hiya! <laughs> Candidate Hop. What say you to allegations that you are not a natural born citizen, that you are under? Oh, God, it's DDR. What? Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. I'll show you my sick dance moves, chat. Don't you worry. Ah! I can't do this. Hold on, hold on. We're doing it, we're doing it. Ah, gah, gah, gah. Ah, 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 I wasn't ready for this. Why is it DDR? Uh, there's so many. There's so many. <laughs> what, what is this? What if I just press all the... Oh, wait. Okay, I see. What if I just do this? Oh, yeah. I found out how to be the greatest dancer in the world, chat. Ha! Oh, look at us. We're King Frog. Betsy Blue Bonnet. Sir Clarence Gastropon. Ferdinand Croker. We've returned. Flaps McQueen. God bless Flaps McQueen. Brag, he gelled. And introducing Draggy Ceiling Eater as himself. Created by Twinbeard. Numerators and denominators. Frog fractions. Coffee, Mr. President. Oh my god, hey, we're the coffee. president now. We wooed everyone over with our amazing dance moves. Bug economy manager. Weather report. Hot and dry. Bug assets. Two million Zorkmids. Cost to produce bug porn. 10,000 Zorkmids a megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Chat, how, many, how much bug porn do we want to make? How many megabytes of bug porn we can make? Uh, what would be the maximum we can make? Uh, 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 two million divided by ten thousand. At least five. Okay. All of it. How, what is two million divided by ten thousand? Someone with someone smarter than me do math. How do I remove four zeros? Two hundred, and then, and then wait, two two. Wait, hold on. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can make 200 megabytes of bug porn. Wait, wait, wait. What if we start off with a conservative amount? What if we need more Zork mids? What if we just make 100 megabytes of bug porn? Eh? 
Now, I think that's a more conservative approach here. We can't squander all of Bug Mars's economy on this just yet. What if we need to reinvest that amount to make more bug porn? Okay. Our, hard, our software engineers are hard at work on Bug Excel 98. Got it. How many pop-up banners ads? Uh, 15,000 Zork mids each do you want to purchase? Um, let's go with 20. What price do you want to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? It took us 10,000 to make a megabyte of bug porn, right? So let's charge 15,000 for each megabyte of bug porn. That way we're making a 5,000 profit each time. I prefer something more, uh, Bug porn industries! Day one results. The bug porn sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. The bug porn sensors bought all of your bug porn at lunchtime. Let's go! Thank you, sensors, for buying all of the bug porn. You made 10 megabytes of bug porn at 10,000 megabyte. You sold all 100 at 15,000 megabyte budget. Let's see, 1.3 million uh, GDP. Okay, profit 200,000. And so we are at 200 or 2 million 200 thousand zork mids how many zork mids do you want to order the federal bug federal reserve to print Ooh, okay hold on hold on we can we can get more zork mids from the federal reserve let's let's print a conservative um 10 million zork mids i guess we'll let your successor worry about in the inflation problem god damn right we will on bug mars that's how we solve our problems we let the next guy take care of that we're all about short-term solutions here uh what upgrade would you like oh, 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 oh hold on um drugging the water supply was pacified delinquent bugs keeping them out of the streets and staying out of trouble and not coincidentally staying home and watching bug porn Perfect, let's get that. Oh, it's cloudy. This is perfect bug porn weather. This is how we're gonna control the economy. Okay, we've got 10 million Zork mids. So now we can make, at 10,000 megabytes, uh, Zork mids a megabyte, we can make, um, 1,020 megabytes of bug porn total. Let's make, let's make 400. Okay, let's make 400 megabytes of bug porn. And how many pop-up uh, banner ads do you want to purchase? We will purchase um, 20 pop-up ads and we will charge 20,000 per megabyte of bug porn because goddamn is the inflation up or the economy is booming. They can afford the increased price of bug porn today. Oh my. The in-house bug porn musician decided to make bug smooth jazz today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs seem unaware of porn today. Press space. Uh, shit. We sold 81 megabytes of bug porn at 20 m uh, thousand. Oh. Now we're down. We're only at 7 million Zork mids. How many Zork mids do you want the Bug Federal Reserve to print? Let's go with like another, I don't know. Um, let's go with another, eh, yeah, you know what? Another 10 million. I think that's pretty good. Okay, what upgrade would you like to install? Let's get the satellites. Yeah, we can have more accurate weather forecasts if we do this. It's sunny today, chat! An outbreak of frog STDs and bug porn actors is driving production costs up. No! Oh, this is terrible. It's gonna cost more to make our bug porn. All right, how much is it? 12,000? Shit. All right, fine. We'll make, we'll make 500 megabytes of bug porn today. And we're gonna make 50 ads. And we're gonna make, if it costs 12,000, Let's charge another 20,000 per megabyte of bug porn again. Thanks, but uh, I'm into ladybugs. That makes sense. Bug porn is doing good. Superb performance made today's bug porn too hot. The warehouse burned down. Made 500 at, and you sold zero. Shit, man. All right, all right, it's fine, it's fine. Um, ooh, here, here.
here's how we solve this problem. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and print some more money. It's called free money, baby. All right, all right, there we go. Padlocks. Okay, this only costs two million Zork mids. Okay, hot and dry. This is the weather to get bug porn production going. We're going, we're going in hard. We're making 600 megabytes of bug porn today, and we're making 100 ads, and we're gonna make it, again, 20,000 each. That's 200,000. Okay, surely today is the bug porn day. The in-house musician decided to make bug IDM today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Try, uh, weather makes thirsty bugs, uh, clamor for your product. Bugs marveled at your low prices and kept coming to your door long after you ran out of porn. <gasps> we sold all of it today. Holy shit. Let's go, baby. Let's make some more money. We're just going to print some more money from the bug federal reserve. It's free real estate. Hell yeah. And we're going to install... Oh, hell yeah. We're going to install the presidential swimming pool. This is what I like to see. When you're done taking a break here, we need to get back to work, huh? Yeah, but like, look, our, our turtle's back and we can just swim around. Oh no, I dived. What happened? Bow. There we go. What is this? Oh my god, chat, we can't we can't show this on stream. Chat, avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. You can't watch this on stream. No. No, chat. You can't. Be, stare not at the bug porn. Ah! Get this bear out of here. You can't be looking at the bug porn. I won't move. No. Put those binoculars away. Let us see. No. I can't be showing you guys this on Twitch. Oh, no. Another one's coming up. What is this? Oh, no. No way. We definitely can't show this. Nope. 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 I'm blocking it. I'm blocking it. No bug porn for you guys. You'll have to pay the bug federal reserve per megabyte if you want this bug porn. I worked hard to produce this. I can't be showing this on Twitch for free. Whoa, my God, chat, man. I tell you what, if you guys could see this one, -wee. that one was impressive. Ah, oh, just remember chat only 20,000 a megabyte and you too can see what I see right now. Hey, oh my God. That is not even legal to do. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. You guys can't be looking at that. Yeah. There we go. Your goddamn right is being paywalled. We gotta, I gotta protect you guys from the bug porn. What would, what would your mothers think if you saw this? No, 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 you can't. No, you guys can't look at that. Ah, oh, okay, okay, there we go. We mostly blocked it. We mostly blocked it. Oh, you guys. Oh, yeah, we we definitely got to block that. Okay, okay, there we go. No. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to block this. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it for the youth, for the kids. Don't look, chat. Don't look. Eh. In memory of beard number two. Oh no! 
You can throw anything you want at me. I won't let you guys taint your eyes. Congratulations, you finished Frog Fractions and are a certified Frog Fractioneer. Are you ready to experience ultimate Frog fra Fraction experience? Buy the Hop's iconic Cap DLC and experience a day in the life of a frog wearing a hat! It'll feel as though you're playing an entirely different Frog Fraction game. You just take me to the sound test. Cool. What a happy song. So anyways, chat, that was Frog Fractions. And this was a wild ride. This came out in, this was like a fucking Flash browser game in 2012. And, um, and I guess, I, th I think you guys could imagine how much of a mind fuck this game was when you were playing it. Cause like, the, the, the way this game spread, right, is you just had a friend say, hey, you need to play this game. And they just sent you a link and you'd start playing it and you go, dude, what the fuck is this game? And then as you play it, you just, you keep going through more. And I would just message my friend. I'm like, what the fuck is happening now? And then I got like to space. And I'm like, what the fuck do I do in space? I'm go collecting goop. And then it got to being the president. I'm like, I'm making bug porn. I'm like, how much did you price your bug porn at? How are we doing this? Oh my God, do you want to buy some bug porn? Dude, I'm in debt. The economy's in shatters. And so then we just print more money as any good president would do. And thus was the game of Frog Fractions. Ah, oh, all right. Let's go ahead and exit this. Boop. All right. All right, chat, but that was Frog Fractions. That was what I was talking about. It took about an hour like I thought it would. And uh, yeah, that game was fucking truly the game of all time. You know what's cool? There's a Frog Fractions 2. Why is it double capturing me? Excuse me? Oh, because window capture, I see. Uh, let me do this. Okay. There was a Frog Fractions 2, but the game developer did not actually release it as Frog Fractions 2. This was an entire ARG to find Frog Fractions 2. The developer actually uh, made an entirely different game and gave hints as to what it was and hid the Frog Fractions 2 inside of that game. And so, like, people had to find where Frog Fractions 2 was hidden. And it was great. It was hilarious. I haven't actually played Frog Fractions 2, but Mega Brain. It was like a whole marketing ploy for it. All right, but let's get into, let's get into Total War Warhammer 3. The whole reason we came here today, chat. Hmm. All right, um, we are going to be continuing our campaign from where we left off last time. Uh, we are going to be, pl be playing some good old Festus the Leech Lord, the Leech Lord. And that's why, that's what prompted reminding me of Felipe was his, his bug title that we've somehow gotten that says Festus the Leech Lord, F the Leech Lord. It reminded me of Felipe Felipe and thus started the whole bug frog fractions uh, tangent and complete derailment of the stream. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was the weird fucking game that I was referencing. And as you can see now that we've played it, it would have been impossible for me to describe. That is truly a game of all time. And it, I would not be able to describe that game in words. Wait, so bug porn game wasn't the original uh, stream plan? Never would have thought. <laughs> Funny enough, I didn't start stream today trying to start a bug porn emporium. It's crazy, I know, but that actually wasn't my plan. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So good old Festus, the Leech Lord, the Leech Lord. I don't know how the fuck his title bugged out like this, but goddamn, do I love it. 
the bug porn emporium was worth every second let's go i love it i'm good that's good to hear i'm glad you guys enjoyed that because that was definitely a game of all time <laughs> who's this equipped on i'm putting this on festus excuse me why is that equipped on you give this to festus baby this just gives everyone magic attacks around him oh yeah oh all right but now we're into total war hammer and so this is our campaign we've been playing for the last few years of felipe felipe we got Kolek because i forget how that happened last time i think someone i think he died off and we just uh got him through one of our mods because when a faction gets defeated we can get their legendary lords so that they're not eternally gone and i think after like turn 60 uh which we're on turn 82 i think after turn 60 that also then happens to the npc faction so if a npc faction were to be get killed off uh another npc faction would get their legendary lords years what what years um so i don't remember what our plan was i think our plan right now is to try to take as many dark sanctuaries uh as we can or dark fortresses up here as we can um throg is getting beaten to the point that we could that we could get a peace treaty with him almost whenever we want so i think what we do is we get a bunch of dark fortresses and then we peace treaty him of course. um been playing this campaign for years that's what you said right oh is it i don't know well welcome to the years of gaming <laughs> i meant i meant a few weeks all right all right i think we're in a pretty good position i'm just trying to reorient myself with what's happening on the map we do have one army down here that could be a problem but we have kolik in possession to maybe be able to take them out um can these guys ascend no they have to be rank five which is two silver chevrons got it something about felipe felipe <laughs> look you know what plague go burr we make plague we make death we kill people okay that that is basically game uh chaos sorcerer who are you you are just chilling here um if you are just going to be bing chilling around here uh what is your trait what, what why did i get you why do you exist my dude you're useless let's just make you no no, no. let's do reduce cost and success chance let's just make you steal technology so i can research faster all right and turn do, 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 do. let's go here Festus also carries around green goop. The goop is always there. If pink goop was, um, bacon milkshake, what is green going to be? Ooh, chaos knights. Nice. Now we can recruit cavalry if we so desired. Are you going to try to attack my ally? That would be a bad idea for you. Don't do it, buddy. I don't think you want to do that. You are sieging my ally. Oh, we can't let that stand. All right, Kolak, let's go, buddy. Um, I would like this, but that's also so far out of the way. I don't want to go up there. We need to take this. Um, here's what we do, I think. Take Festus over here, and we can't do anything this turn, unfortunate. Um, I do know Franz is down here, so we need to start recruiting another army, actually. Spinach, ginger, lemon, and man- That would taste good? What it? That doesn't sound like it would taste good. That- that-, that uh, I don't- I'm gonna be real, that doesn't sound like a winning- winning combination right there. Um, actually, chat. That doesn't sound like it would taste good, to be fair. Um, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to recruit another sorcerer, and we're going to make them... <sighs> I think... Lore of 
death gets the one where you get power. Okay, let's do lore of death. Yeah. And the trait really doesn't matter. Put them here. Gifted units. Let's get you some of these. Um, am I not getting... Depending on the qualities, right? Mostly mango and a pinch of ginger and spinach and lemon. Sounds tasty. Yummy. What is up, little angel dragons? Hello, hello. Welcome on in. I hope your day is going well. Um, We don't have any beasts of Nurgle. I need this last slot so I can recruit some beasts of Nurgle at the same time. Um... Okay, we'll get one we'll get a unit in one turn so we'll wait one turn to get the unit we'll recruit these get this unit of chaos warriors god those are expensive okay and we're gonna start building up an army here it's my birthday today <gasps> happy birthday let's go i hope your birthday is going well and you have very much fun today happy birthday to you oh excuse me But welcome on in. We are doing some good old Total War Warhammer here. As we just finished up playing through some frog fractions. And we learned the history of boxing. We went the to space. We made hundreds of megabytes of bug porn. I had to shield Chet's eyes from, from all of the bug porn being shown on screen. But welcome in and happy birthday to you. Alright, so we're going to build an army here. Because I'm going to have a use for this guy, I think. Lord not moved. Yeah, you're just chilling here, aren't you? I'm going to use you as a scout, if anything. I need to find out what's over here. Hero not moved. Um, Steel technology? Nope, I'm broke as fuck. Moving. I had a bunch of tasty uh, snackies like strawberries and donuts with coffee and pasta bolognese for dinner. <gasps> oh, pasta sounds so good. I might make spaghetti for dinner. Great day. Nothing too extra. That sounds like an amazing day. So, I mean... Sounds pretty good to me. You are shadows. Okay, that's fine. Shadows is a very good lore. Um, can you get into Colux Army? If I were to get rid of this unit of Marauders, would you be able to enter his army? I think you would be. Uh, no, you are just short. Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, oh, well. Um, Let's see. We will end turn... And then with that, chat, I'm going to be right. And then with chat, I need to pee. So that's what's going to happen real quick, chat. I need to pee. So I'm going to throw it on the, uh, I'm going to throw it on the BRB screen because I've been chugging water this whole time. I'm going to throw it on the BRB screen and I'm going to play three minutes of ads during that to get rid of the pre-rolls on the, uh, oh, we've got a battle to do after this. Okay. We'll be doing a battle as well when I get back. So we're going to just let this load in, um, and I'm going to throw it on the BRB screen and I will play three minutes of ads. Don't worry about missing anything. I won't start until the ads are done and I get back. So don't you worry about that. So take this time to also stretch. Maybe use the restroom yourself. Get some water. Take care of yourselves. But uh, yes, I will put it on the BRB. Play the music and I'm going to be right back. And boop.
And no, we are back. How's it going, y'all? <clears throat> oh, welcome, welcome. Now we've got ourselves a fight. All right, so <clears throat> chat, if you aren't familiar with what Total War Warhammer was on the campaign map, you saw it was very similar to a 4X game. However, for battle, we do have ourselves a little RTS action going on here. So we have a deployment phase and then we will get into the battle phase. I love how Kolek looks. God, he is so cool. He's also very big. Let me show you how big he is compared to a normal person. That's a normal person right there. That's Kolek. Te technically, Kolek should be larger, but I don't think the game could actually handle him being any larger than that. But here's a normal person. There's Kolek. Kolek would actually be more like up to there, but you know, we can't really accurately display that. So, uh, what this is, is I can typically, you're only allowed to deploy in this green square, by the way. Uh, but my whole army has Vanguard deployment, thanks to a few various traits we have going on. So we're going to be able to deploy all the way up outside of, I just have to be outside of this white square that's around their deployment area. And the enemy will be deploying in there. But since, uh, I don't know where they're deploying yet. It won't, their units don't show up until the battle starts and they do their deployment. So we're going to be deploying right here. I'm going to put, I put the Marauders up front or did I put the heavy armor up front. Let's put the warriors. Actually, let's do it this way. Warrior here, warrior here, warrior here. Fill in the spot with Marauders. Let's do that instead. There, and then that, and we can do that. Has anyone been playing Diablo 4, by the way? I know I know. I had some people come in yesterday that have been playing Diablo 4. Anyone in chat been playing Diablo 4? Because it looks really interesting, and I keep hearing about it, and it does indeed look like it's very close to Diablo 2, and I did play the beta that one night in the Discord for y'all. Um, so I've been thinking about picking it up. I don't know if a... Because, like, if I get Diablo 4, I'd probably want to play it on stream, for one. For two, I don't know if there's a whole lot of interest in Diablo. Because the other thing, though. I don't know if y'all would be interested in watching Diablo. Because I'm going to be real. There's a dime a dozen uh, Diablo streamers right now, right? Not exactly uh, the most empty of categories. I don't have the free time to pick up a Diablo game. That's also true. There's a lot of grinding involved. Especially now, so, uh, from what I've been looking at through all of the various, uh, items that you need to farm up to get a build going, or the Paragon system, it looks like there is indeed a lot of grinding that can be involved. Hee <laughs> hee, bugs. Look at these stiff bugs. Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh wait, they're ridden by plague bearers. I guess that would make sense. They are demons. I watch anything you play, really, so I am a bad data point. <laughs> I enjoyed the beta for the two days I played. I The beta was fun. It's just like, do I want to spend 70 bucks on a game? That's the actual question here. All right. So we just deployed. I think this is good. I think this is... I forget what their army is made up of is the problem. I didn't really pay attention to the load screen of what I would be facing because I went to go pee. So, um... What their army is going to be is going to be a complete surprise because I literally forgot to look at what it was. <laughs> I will watch anything you are having fun with. <laughs> That's good to hear. Thank you very much for that. Wait, those bugs would enjoy bug porn in their free time? You know, these do seem like some bug porn enjoying motherfuckers. Especially the people riding the bugs. Those are also some bug porn enjoying motherfuckers. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these, look at these bug motherfuckers at out here, man. Oh, I can't pause battle because battle hasn't actually started. Yeah, they probably would. Beast of Nurgle. Blah, 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 blah. Look at him. He's so happy looking. Oh, there's a, there's a, oh, oh, there's a Nurgling. Oh, and it went back in the mouth. Hee <laughs> hee, Beast of Nurgle. Okay. Let's get this battle started. What does their army look like? I'm going to pause and I'm going to take a real quick second to look at what the fuck I'm going up against. They got a lot of trolls. They got ice trolls, marauders, 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 
two mammoths. I don't like that. I don't like dealing with mammoths. I don't have a lot of anti-large. Oh, I do have Kolak. I guess he's anti-large. And some skin wolves. Okay. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have our plague. They don't have range, do they? Not really. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have these guys fly up here. Dragon's going to fly over here. Um, these, this line is going to just wait for one moment for them to get closer. And then we're going to crash in. I'm going to take my champions there. You're going right after this mammoth. I need to get rid of that mammoth. This is the most important thing right now. Um, the dragon is also going to go after the mammoth. The war shrine. What is the war shrine actually made up of? I see. Interesting. Well, I actually don't know how well a war shrine performs in melee combat. I have not really used one. So I guess we'll find out. Bugs, I need you to hover over the mammoth. I think the bugs can do a good job. Oh, Kolek just come up and smacking the shit out of it. Let's go, baby. Let's do this and this. Also, Kolek has a nice ability. Let's just shoot these marauders. That seems fun. Okay, where are you guys at? Um, go here and then crash into these berserkers. Kolek, take out the mammoth. Uh, dragon, 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 dragon. Also mammoth. Mammoth is biggest threat. Attack these ice trolls. I think that will be good. Um, pause game to time to think. Let's put. Let's put these plague bearers right here. Let's summon up a unit of plague bears behind them and put them right behind their enemy line. That mammoth is almost dead. That's good. Okay, that mammoth is dead. Refocus on the other mammoth. Get rid of them. Um, where are my plague drones? Let's regroup the plague drones. If we can. I would like them to regroup if they can get out. Uh, okay. The aspiring champions are doing really well. Uh, to no one's surprise. Because aspiring champions are kind of goaded in this. Um, let's do this. This will heal units. Let's do it on our chaos warriors. Let's take you guys and send you back into there. Fly the plague drones out. <clears throat> good. Good, good, good. There's a plague drone that's stuck. I would like you to get off the ground here, buddy. Get off the ground, buddy. Get off the ground, buddy. Thank you. Okay, Kolek is chasing down that mammoth. That's fine. You guys refocus on this guy. Uh, okay, that mammoth is shattering. Kolek, come back. Kolek, focus on that champion you also focus on that guy um there's a beast of nurgle over here. let's go help this side actually they got the skin wolves i'm this way i don't want this beast of nurgle dying if i can avoid it so we will take oh hello ah okay fine we'll do this there we go. We'll swarm them and watch their HP drop. Um, Kolek, where are you, friend? Come back here. We have to go this way. Uh, whoever is over here, you can take care of that. You guys aren't doing anything. Why? Go intercept these skin wolves. These guys are dying. Why are these guys dying? Pull them out. Pull them out. Oh, uh, let's see. We've got aspiring champions not doing much. The dragon is sleepy, so the dragon can go and take care of these ice trolls. Here's our war shrine. Let's move the war shrine over next to more of our. Actually, how big is your radius? Radius. If we move you right there, you should actually hit both groups. So let's do that. 
I don't know where this beast is going. Go back here this way. Kolek is not doing anything. Kolek, go crash into this group. I don't really care how you do it. Take care of these. Let's just do that. Nice. And a victory. And let's go ahead and cause as much casualties as we can so that they don't decide to attack us again afterwards. Fuck your trolls. I'm killing them. And we kept both beasts, and that was my main concern. Murder, murder. Let's go, baby! Kill those. Kill those. Let's take my plague drones and see what they can kill. We're actually going to leave their lord at very low HP because what would happen is he's very low HP so he's easy to snipe. If we actually kill him, they get a free replacement lord and he would be at full HP. So we're actually just going to let this guy get away with almost no HP so that the next time we initiate a battle with this group, with this army, um, that lord's going to have like no HP and we can just snipe him at the start. And it'll make it real easy because that's going to kill their leadership uh, first thing. What is up, Fox and Socks? How are your Socks and Fox doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. We are playing some Total War Warhammer 3 on our Nurgle campaign. How's your day going? Murder! Oh, wait. Let's use our summon unit and kill some of these trolls, maybe. That'd be funny. Go, Kolek! Charge! I just want to cause as many casualties on the fleeing units as possible so that I don't have to deal with them uh, as much when we go uh, back and wipe out this group. This group is already going to be very injured, so we can probably just auto-resolve the fight. But the more we kill, the less casualties we'll take from the auto-resolve, because the auto-resolve is a little jank at times. Tired, but hanging in there? Duh. Hang on in there. You'll make it. Don't worry. Um, there's a way to get Strider from someone's trait. If I could get that on Kolek, that would be perfect. I would love it if I could get Strider on Kolek. Or just Wood uh, Woodsman. Or is it Woodwalker? Something along those lines. Just so he doesn't get slowed by trees as much. Ah, uh, I'm not going to be able to catch that group. Oh, well. Oh, these Marauders. Oh, okay, they're dead. Good, good, good. And we can end battle decisive victory and the auto resolve one to give me a close victory yeah bullshit look at all the casualties we caused they lost a um, large majority of their army they deployed what <coughs> 680 they lost 567 god damn and we've lost quite honestly no one of value we lost a lot of marauders and i'm gonna be real they're there to be sacrificial everything else that took damage are single entity units so they'll just heal up the aspiring champions took like no losses, which is funny. I guess that's what happens when they're already goaded units and they have regen. And then Kolek, of course, took like no damage because he's Kolek the fucking Sun Eater. <sighs> How much does this heal? And this will get me 200 souls and money. Money is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But I think there are threats in the area and I would rather have the heal. The sun is tasty. Don't know myself. I can't really eat the sun, you see. So uh, you're going to have to ask one of the various sun eaters because everyone these days seems to have that title. Uh, Lorlin captured... Weissmund. Uh, no, I'm going to take that because you guys don't need that. You actually don't gain any income from taking that. But thank you for taking it, but I'm going to give it to my friends that can actually make use of it. Um, who are you again? Nordland, you can have Weissmund. Shut up. There you go, have Weissmund. Yes. They're so unhappy that I subjugated them.
Okay, there we go. You took care. You can have that because you guys can actually build in this. The wood elves can't. Spellweaver of do, do, do. Franz is over here. I'm going to have to deal with him eventually. How did he run across the river? Excuse me? God of mountains. Um, I guess what we can do... He Jesus? It seems that way. I guess what we can do is... First of all, we put this sorcerer in our army because he wasn't able to be in the army last time. Second... You have nine. Their garrison is six. I can't really leave it, can I? I have to get rid of you. Roth is over here injured. I don't think he can do much. No, not the combuskin. It's gone. Okay, we're going to take the Bay of Blades. Gift to Vassal, because I don't want it. Okay, we're gonna go out to sea now. We're gonna take Longship Graveyard and then Altar. And as much as I want this, I think it's too far out of the way to go acquire. As much as I would like to grab it. I think what we do is we just focus on taking this stuff and maybe Troll Fjord. Or Fjord? It's Fjord. I made that mistake last time. Don't laugh at me again. Or tell me to keep saying the wrong thing. Dory. You need a boom. Marine Ford. Marine Ford's down here. Oh, is there a new chapter this week? I just realized. Because there wasn't one last week. Um, let's get the chaos spawn and let's get these marauders. The chaos. Um it is good? Ooh, wait, you read it? I have not read it. I didn't know if there was a, uh, one or not. I do this. I need Beast of Nurgle. Yep. Replace that with that. <clears throat> Get a Beast of Nurgle in your army. Okay, ideally, I want another Beast of Nurgle in this army. Then we can start filling it up with some other stuff. Um, Uncle for Uncle? Oh my god, can we get Uncle for Uncle? Oh, we could get uncle for uncle. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're going to make we're going to make Festus's army goaded. Tempest incarnate. Festus should really give the dragon ogre to Kolek actually. I'll just need a different way to handle large units, but Kolek would absolutely do better with the dragon ogre in his army. I could swim over and give it to Kolek one of these turns. And then I can just take... Actually, I could just get rid of a Marine. I'll need a way to get rid of large units because I don't really have one with Nurgle. I forgot I added this mod for a Greater Chaos Spawn. I guess I could get Greater Chaos Spawns. That would be anti-large. Or I could get some Death Head Plague Drones. That would also be good. Um, the knights are all anti-infantry, so that's not very useful. I don't know what I do for large units. I don't have a good way to kill monsters, it would seem. Yeah, great unclean ones aren't anti-large. Fox riders aren't anti-large. Plague bears definitely ain't. Chaos giants aren't. They could be. What can I do? What can I do for large units, eh? I, I guess get soul grinders. Could probably do that. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. Maybe I just get some... Maybe I, maybe the solution is I need to have some... Uh, undivided units just so I can turn them into halberds. 
because unfortunately I don't get halberds with Nurgle. It would be cool if I could. Then I can have an entire Nurgle army. Oh, uh, what is this guy doing? Egram, what are you doing with your life? You're not doing anything with your life. I foresee can I recruit a hero? I could if I had money. It is corrupt. We're gonna just skip your turn. Unassigned points. Uh, this is obviously Festus's uh hero, so we will give you more damage. Kolek, what are you doing with your life, buddy? Um, you have all infantry. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's just make Kolek better. Um, yeah, go melee attack just so that we can make sure. Herald Hammerstorm. Uh, foe seeker. The hammer. Uh, this is Kolek's army. Let's go training so that you can level up the troops faster. Hammer time! So true. You are so right. Can I upgrade this? I need required technology demon mounts. What technology is that and where is it? Demon mounts. We are researching it right now. Got it. Hero not moved. Yet again, not enough money to steal technology. I should really start saving money for that. Commandment available. Um. Yeah, let's go growth. Let's tear this up as fast as we can. Help it. We could peace treaty. Um, am I peace treated with the other guys over here? I am. They're, they might be pissed at me, but I am peace treated with them. Bad plan, Steve. Yeah, okay. I think I'll just do a peace treaty because I don't want to deal with you right now. Good for experiment trial. We can always murder them later. I want to focus on taking this stuff so that I can get my uh, economy going. Uh, as much as I would love to take that. It's way too far out of the way, and I don't have the armies to send up there. Maybe when I get some of these other dark fortresses I have built up, then I can afford the economy, and I can actually have, like, full-scale armies running around. But right now, I'm not making enough money a turn to actually warrant that. Faction encountered Legion of Chaos. Okay. Mm. You probably are peace-treating me, right? Yeah. The Static Legions. Oh, hey, Azazel died. Okay, let's get your lord. That would mean Kislev took back their land, didn't it? Oh, Archeon took it. I see. Past war with... Good, you hate Wintertooth. That's good to see. Okay, so what I actually do is I don't want to fight Archeon. I don't want to deal with them. Archeon's army worries me because he's got so many fucking various OPS lords and hero is under him. I don't want to... God damn, that's already making 1,500. So, if I could just... Do you bring the uh, uh... Okay, we stay at war with Wintertooth then. He hates Wintertooth. So we just go beat up Wintertooth to make him like not hate us that's the plan oh, yes. them. you bitch this the dark powers. It shall be. Mm. i don't want to take attrition yes. in blood. put that there nope ah! I didn't want to click that. I clicked the wrong thing on the bottom. I skipped the notification instead of doing it. Now I have to find the, the, the Lord. You. 
What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I think you just stay in Middenheim and make it so that Franz can't advance. If you stay here with at just this army, I think, Franz won't be able to take this city. It has elves? Oh, right. I do have... Oh, you know what? I just realized. I probably can't make outposts for you my guys, can I? Close to my blade. Uh, outpost. No, I can't put outposts on other people's armies. Okay. Man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, why don't I do this? Um... Yeah, that's what I want. Um, 3,000 gold. Shit, I need, I need money. I need money. I just realized, because I subjugated them, I can make an outpost here. I could recruit some empire units into my armies. So that means I could either get handgunners, and that means I'd have range, or I could get empire artillery. Either way, that would solve some problems that we got going on here. Especially if I just got a unit of four handgunners, that could definitely take out monsters. True chaos awaits. And it's hard for them to flank and kill, um, it's hard for them to flank and kill the ranged units when they have an army of chosen spawning in front of them. Oh. I just need money to build that. Uh, wow, you suck. That was a critical failure on that, so he wounded himself for a few turns. Whoops, I just hit the microphone. My bad, y'all. I also just moved it all over the place. My bad, my bad. Anyway, so sometimes when you do a hero action with your heroes, um, cause like that one was going to be steel technology, which lowers their research rate and, uh, increases mine for a set amount of turns. There's a chance that you just like critically fail and they, then the hero gets wounded. And so you have to wait for the hero to come back. And so that's what he just did because he's a failure at life. There is an army recruiting there. Okay. So anyways, that, yeah, that's what just happened. And that's why I called that guy a failure because he, f hello, no, my singular Lord. How could you do this? He was a scout. Your cadaver. All right. What do you want? They've ended their trade agreement with me. Okay. My hand How dare you my end your trade agreement? What are you pissy about, though? Past treaties with them, past war with Marineburg, rulers prejudice, that makes sense. Recent events and treaties with Sarl. You really don't like Sarl, I see. Who is Sarl? Is that one of my vassals? My fellow warlords yes, it is. Okay. Do the oh, hey, trade agreement. Come south. Okay. Actually, anyone what? else want a trade agreement? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Do -do -do. Uh, uh, yes. Wow. Wow, he can move far. He can move all the way the fuck down here. Why has he got so much movement range? He can move half of this fucking region. Excuse me? What's going on here? This man's got all of the movement. And Fess is up here trying, struggling to get across to the longship graveyard. Which I think we can at least do now. No, we cannot. No, no, not that way. God damn it, Festus. I did not want to go this direction, you dumbass. Do not move like slugs. <sighs> Star Crusher. Destroy. This motherfucker. Yes. Bring the storm. I'm having to chase them so... I hate this part of just chasing them around. Um... Just... I, I, I 
should recruit units for this guy. But I also don't want more upkeep, so I just want to kind of build up money right now. Oh, you're not dead. Are you not dead? I mean, you're going to die. But I mean, like, you can just be kind of a distraction right now to make that guy run around, which I'm fine with, to be fair. Uh, Doom Keep. Doom has no money. Okay. You need upgrade. This is Colex guy? This sounded like Colex guy. Yep. I actually don't really need, like, a lot of growth buildings, do I? Because I can always do a growth plague if I needed to. I forgot about that. It's like not really worth it anyways because there's not a whole lot of buildings I need to make on a fortress and as is I guess I can instead of doing a growth building hi no not my single scout why could you he's dead no I guess I could replace the defensive structure or, or replace the growth building with defensive structures no poor scout how could you do this I hate trying to move around water. This shit takes so long. Gift to Vassal. Oh, I cannot gift to Vassal because there's no Vassal for me to gift it to. Unfortunate. Um, I will sack it for money. I will occupy it. And then I'm going to hope I can give Longship Graveyard to Sorrel. Yes, good. There you go. Because I can't do anything with these settlements. And then, can I get you in the water? I cannot, unfortunate. And I take that. I don't really care about Pack Ice Bay. Yeah, I would like this, but that's, that's too many turns to dedicate to that. And Franz is rebuilding his strength. We need to take care of Franz. Why are there orcs over here? What is happening down here? We got fucking wood elves, orcs, vampires. Y'all are really losing ground. Skaven are moving across this way. Hero actions against Clan Molder. Okay, so I shouldn't do anything against Clan Molder. I should instead do my hero actions against Wintertooth. Got it. Chaos. Lord not moved. Um, you guys realize there's like an army right beside you, right? You guys should really attack them. Harrison Lord not moved. Franz is up there. That's slightly worrisome. He's probably going to start sweeping across this way. You guys built no defensive structures. I feel like that's a that's a misplay there. This action does not have my consent. Bronze is on Deathclaw. That's a problem. Okay. Estes is in a position that he can intercept in a few turns. My eldritch I see. You what to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? It is corrupt. What's your garrison? 12. Now they will see 24, but they're tier 1 units. Do not take me for a fool. I don't think he's got very high units. It's his heroes that are scary. And I don't think your garrison is very strong. Eh, actually, you guys' garrison ain't that bad. It's halberds, and which will be good against the, the, the horses. Some handgunners, some crossbows, swordsmen, and great swords. It's actually not terrible. We shall weave the fates. Mm. Okay, if I really need more units, I guess I can get more nerglings. Uh, let's move up this way. 
I will make sure that this settlement doesn't fall. I'll just pad the rest out with Nurglings, I guess. Oh, I can't get any more uh, demons. Um. Okay. I could get... A lot of upkeep. Now I think I'm gonna need it. These can be upgraded. Oh, I'm at negative 15 a turn now. Oh no! We need money, quick! Ah! Um, who is this? Oh, Festus the Leech Lord, the Leech Lord. Okay. Disease Bearer. Ah. Uh, replenishment rate. You don't have one that gives upkeep, do you? No, you do not. Curse of the Leper is armor. Armor and melee damage reflection. Don't care too much about that. This affects my demon units. Let's get this. That'll be pretty good. Because we have a lot of demon units that are hitting that threshold. Good points. You, uh, your shit's all maxed out. I guess more leadership. Sure, why not? Harry the Hammer! HP. Let's turn you into, into a, a sweet-ass tank. Let's do that. Yep. And we don't have the money to build that. That's fine. And enter. Let's see what Franz decides to do. Ah, I thought so. Pyrrhic victory. With Egrim and this settlement garrison. Okay, we're gonna quick save. I think I can win this? I don't know. This is gonna really depend on what my allies here do. Because as I expected, Franz is attacking. Oh, I didn't, I didn't give these guys a plague. I should have done that. Oh, that was dumb of me. Why didn't I give them a plague? I could have easily done that last turn. I just completely forgot to do that. I don't have any casters. Fuck. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. How much wins to... Ooh, I have a lot of wins. I don't have a lot of spells to use, though. Oh, I completely forgot to get wins. Chaos Marauders! How do I do this? Okay, so here is my plan, is I deploy over here next to this forest. I don't know what the fuck that noise was. Deploy over here next to this forest. We start battle, we immediately take all of our units and we hide them in the trees. That way we can't get sniped as they approach and we wait for our reinforcements. I think that is, first of all, the first thing we do. We take our flyers, we put them back here. We just hide our motherfuckers in the forest right now. That'll also make it so their cavalry can't just freely charge me. What is up, Misty? Welcome on in. Fuck! Oh, this asshole's got a goddamn steam tank! What is up, Misty? How are you doing? Welcome on in. I should have gave myself a plague. I should have gave myself a plague. I fucked up not doing that. I'm gonna need these guys. 
A tank? A steam tank. He's a steam tank commander. Look at this asshole. Oh, oh, he's such a problem. He's such a problem. I'm good. I just got home from grocery shopping. How are you? I misplayed this, so I'm doing fine up until that point. But how? hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can make something happen. Maybe? Ho copium? But it's good that you just got home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Okay, good. Our reinforcements are here, so that's a something at least. We're going to let them... Don't shoot my dragon. Here's the hope is if Franz stays in the air and I can get him alone, theoretically, I could swarm him with all of my flyers and that should actually take care of Franz pretty well. Because like, that should actually be pretty good against Franz if I can swarm him with my flyers while he's in the air. Yes, keep missing. How much ammo do you have? 40? Are you shitting me? We're going to just keep trying to bait shots out of this motherfucker. I need you guys to go over here, honestly. I think he's shooting at the dragon. Yeah, he's shooting at the dragon. Pause this. Move these units. Where are you guys moving to? You're just straight up attacking. Okay. Are you guys walking? No, you're moving fast. Okay. Yeah. So we move... You guys up here. We move our nerglings up here. Move you guys back here. Normally, I'd like to have them grouped up with the line, but I don't think we're going to be able to get that. Uh, okay. We're going to keep baiting shots with the dragon. Honestly, if we could stall for 17 minutes, we also technically win. Okay, he turned. I have one cast of this bound that could potentially be useful. Ooh, he's got a caster. I just noticed that. He's shooting out spells. Okay, let's pull these back. I don't want to get shot. My flyers are really vulnerable to getting shot because I don't have my uh, fucking plagues on them right now. Those guys are moving up. They're about to actually connect. Okay, hold on. If they do that, that's going to distract Bronze's ranged units. An Empire's greatest strength is... Of course, the variety of units I can they bring. If I can take out the ranged, that will be huge. We send the Beast of Nurgle in right now, and we start taking dealing with the line that they have, which this is where this comes in. We hit some of these units, right? We, if we can take out the front line and more people sweep into... And more of them sweep into the range. That'll be better. These guys... Uh, see, Franz is scary. But I can't dedicate troops to taking him out while there's always these ranged units that we have to take out first. So we're going to do this. We're going to move you here. I'm getting shot at with the fucking tank. This, this, this rocket, this cannonball is literally coming right for my lord. I think we... Oh my god, it just missed. Um, You guys go harass them. And these troops 
all go attack this way, I think. I think that's the best way to do here. Um, this only affects one unit, not useful. Um, actually, you know what? Potentially, we could still make that work. Put it on this beast of Nurgle. And he causes terror. If he starts making the line break, that'll cause our line to wrap. So that's actually pretty good. So let's try that. Um, I'm getting shot at. He's got other lords as well. I would like to take them out. You know, including that asshole trying to shoot me with a tank. Um, I can't hit anyone. They're running. Sweep into these huntsmen. Those are unbreakable swordsmen. I don't like that. That's going to bog down these chaos warriors for a long time. If I can make this tank keep miss missing. Oh, that one didn't miss. That hurt. I was gonna say if I can make the tanks keep missing, that would be good. There's my beast. Oh, he just sicked that guy on him. Okay. Give me into psychology. He's not. I could potentially fear him. Um, okay, hold on. Let me just make these guys their own group because I keep controlling them separately, which is not as efficient. Okay, that, that beast of Nurgle is dead. It's going to, it's going to start disintegrating. So is this one, which is not good. Um, they're kind of really important for the army. Let's move you guys over to here and hit them in the back. We need to start taking them out. Um, swarm these huntsmen. Fuck these huntsmen. I hate them. Mm, I cannot pay attention to all of these at once. Where are you at? Damn it. Okay. He's not shooting at me anymore, at least. Which is good. He is, however, dealing with... We need to we need to pull out. We need to pull out. If we can get in the air and fight Franz in the air, maybe that'll be good. Pull the flyers out. One's on a horse. No, you're not on a horse. You're the stupid asshole in the tank. Uh, what is my ally doing? I wonder. Can you guys, uh, it's great swords. I don't like that. Okay. Yeah, this is what I wanted. I wanted Franz in the air. I'm being shot at... No, I can't beat Franz in the air still. Deathclaw is too strong. And this guy's not on a horse, so he has no mobility. And just like I thought, this fucking unit of swordsmen are going to take forever to take care of. Um... We need to move you. Moving fast. 
I'll just keep doing this to try to attack their leadership, I guess. I don't know. Um, plague drones. Try to keep them up. She who wields true power. Do whatever we damage we can to him. We flee. Bolt of change. Moving fast. This motherfucker right here. I go. Franz is slowly dying. An infernal gateway moving fast. Turn back. I go. Boom of feet. Going. Get the fuck away from me. I go. Going. Moving fast. I go. I'm going to just draw him through this line of fire with, uh, from those gunners, and hopefully they can shoot this asshole. Um, okay, these Chaos Warriors can hold for a little bit. You guys, move back up and, I don't know, hit the Halberdiers, I guess. Going. Moving fast. I go. Going. Moving fast. I go. Going. The dragon's retreating, which is not good. I go. Okay, Franz is dead. Good. Now we can start cleaning up. Let's get their leadership more. It's probably, yeah, those are unbreakable units. Oh. Tag says not edible. We can't eat you? No, no, absolutely not. I'm not food. That's why the tag is there. Why are people confused about this? It says not edible specifically because not food. He has so many unbreakable units. We like a dead Franz. Franz being dead definitely makes this easier. Absolutely. Well, welcome on in, Jenny Bear. Hopefully your day is going well. Even though you can't eat me, hopefully beyond that your day is going well. But what if I find you to be an S-back? What is an S-back? A snack that smiles back. Goldfish. A snack? I'm not food. Why would you find me to be a snack? That's saved for like, I don't know, celery with peanut butter. That's a pretty good snack. Not, not Demon Hunter. That's not a snack. Don't eat me. That's bad. Bad Misty. Bad chat. Don't do that. Goldfish, huh? A snack that smiles back. Goldfish. Oh, he's, oh, she's about to explode. <laughs> I forgot this motherfucker explodes on death. Oh, okay. We actually pulled off a win there. I lost a lot of my demon units, but we won. So you know what? I'll take it. The dragon is not full HP. That is, that has to be a bug. The dragon is not full HP. <laughs> Just a little nibble to test that Drith is indeed not edible. You've all bitten me already and I've smacked you for it. I'm not food. Not a nibble. Just no, not a tiny nibble. Do get away from me. Do not try to bite me or eat me. I'm not food. Thought you were a musketeer? Why would I be a musketeer? What about a big nibble? No, not that either. Hello, Snux. How are you doing? Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Also, not a big nibble. Don't do that. Don't you stare at me like that, Midori. I am not goldfish. I am not the snack that smiles back. Goldfish. Because of the hat? What do you mean the hat? That doesn't... That's not what a musketeer looks like. Crazy. Why is the dragon full HP? That's a bug. Um, you know what? Franz's army is like... <clears throat> Franz's
Grunz's army is not in a great shape. That's the disadvantage of having a bunch of unbreakable units as they fight to the death. I think I will go with the souls. I definitely need souls and money. And we did exactly what I needed to, and that was hold off Franz from taking over my ally settlement. Uh, uh, sure. It does? No. Absolutely not. <sighs> okay, that battle was worrisome. I wasn't sure I could beat that one. Black and Feather. That's not a musketeer hat. That doesn't even make sense. It's not a musketeer hat. Um, okay. Ooh. The trade for beating Franz is actually really good. I never, like, paid attention to that. Very nice. Hey, Jenny Bear. Thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. I hope your day is going fantastic. I appreciate that. Can I kill this motherfucker that keeps running around? Get out of my land. Okay, now I can actually take Kolek and do something with him. Festus is here. This is the army that was a problem. I probably can't take... Wait, hold on. Maybe. Pause, champ. What if I get a bunch of nerglings? Right? And then I attack. I can take them out. Yeah! Fuck this army. Get out of here. Get out of my goddamn land. Hey, thank you for the head bats. Um, let's go with... Let's go with... You, you know what? That's 500 gold. We'll take it. We'll take what we can get at this point. That's like half a unit. I need money right now. Path to glory unlocked. Please tell me I can make you Nurgle. Uh, it's gonna cost 2,000 souls. I don't have that much. Um, okay, I would love to make him a Nurgle caster. I do not have the souls to do so. Uh, I can either go out to sea or I can go across land. I think going across land is just going to be faster. Can I see your old model once? Yeah, sure. Boop. There you go. Oh, God, that moved the map. There you go. Chat doesn't really get to see the, like the whole model very often, but that's what it looks like. And I have a lot of hair. Wee! <laughs> nah. Boop. Braid go whoosh. I like the shoes. The shoes are very good. The shoes are fancy. Here, let me. If you want to see them more, there's a there's a good bit of design on them. Wrong screen. Ooh. Waste snatched? The hell does that mean? Don't do that. Leave it alone. Chaos <sighs> yeah, sorcerer. The design on the pants too. Yeah, there's a lot of detail on the bottom of on um, like the lower half of the model that doesn't get shown off very often. Because like there's also the 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 like uh torn torn cloth here. There's the design that runs down the pant leg. Uh, there's the subtle changing of the braid. It goes from, if you notice up top, it's like, uh, purple. Then it goes to blue, right, rather here in the middle. And then, like, purple. The, uh, the tattered cape. It was actually not supposed to be, like, uh, the original design that I gave Toma was a full cape. But she, she actually drew it tattered because she thought it looked a little bit better. And you know what? I agree. It gives it a little bit more character. The, uh, uh, uh asymmetrical gauntlets. With the with the the clawed uh, armored gauntlet, I love that kind of design on the on my left hand. So yeah, oop, that's a compliment. Ah, thank you very much. <clears throat> but yeah, there's a, like a lot of detail that doesn't really get shown very often. But I like it. It's nice and simple, but there's still like 
something to it, if that makes sense, right? I don't know who this is. This is Colex Army. What? By the now I have that damn jingle stuck in my head. He gained four levels from murdering Franz. Okay, I'll take it. Um, oh, it's death that has the one I like. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Hmm. 16 leadership or aspect of dread knight i think aspect of dread knight how long does it take for you to brush your hair uh you know the morning routine's probably about an hour long i you know i usually go through like a liter of conditioner a week so it's not the most it's not the easiest one to, it's not the easiest hairstyle to deal with i will admit it does take a hot minute each day goldfish i don't want to upgrade this building i want to upgrade this building where is this building situated i am worried that it will get attacked uh you know what i'm about to uh, get the growth i will make a garrison here don't even talk about all the conditioner that's needed. I I just did. It's a lot. It's not easy. It's not it's not at all easy. Don't you worry about that. It it will take a long time to 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 get through my morning routine. Oh, stretch chat, stretch. Ah. I am like sleepy as fuck today is what I've noticed. I I think that might be slightly because I went to bed, you know, maybe just a little late. I am negative income. Why? That might be because, you know, I went to bed a little late last night. But yes, I am actually quite a bit sleepy today. Ambusher discovered. Someone raiding a territory. You are. Fuck off out of here. I'm killing you. I'm actually killing you. The <laughs> just a little yeah you know 4 a.m that's like that's like a normal time to be going to sleep right <laughs> right ah. Ah, that's normal um want this you, yeah, definitely went to bed late. Look, I wanted to see that blindfolded, um... I wanted to see that blindfolded Breath of the Wild run. That was sick. So I don't regret it, but goddamn, is it making me tired right now? I am feeling the effects of that. Of just not sleeping. Who knew? That was sick. It was so good. What? What? Yeah, sure, whatever, Throg. Just give me 11,000 and I'll peace treaty you. Thank you. Thanks for the cash, buddy. It was the blindfolded breath of the wild run was bonkers. It was so good. God, that was cool. Boss and I were in VC watching it. So fucking good. It was like, it's so impressive. The amount of like, the memorization it takes because the runner was counting steps to know like how far to go and shit like that, right? The amount of memorization it would take to do that is ridiculous. And god damn was that an impressive run. And like, um, doing Windblight skip... Oh, excuse me. Doing Windblight skip is already difficult enough, like, when you can see. But doing that skip when you can't see what you're doing. Now, goddamn. That is a, a, a pretty good bit of skill right there. Forward unto slaughter. It's a lot of dedication to memorize all those steps. Exactly. It's like a fuckload of work to be able to do that, right? Just to, just to memorize all the steps and know where you are at all times. And I am killing these motherfuckers. They are like raiding my territory, which is causing me to lose money. I'm going to heal this turn and murder them next. 
physician of blight. And now Festus is finally finished up north, so I can bring him south finally. Oh, I can bring him south and maybe wipe out Franz. That would be sick if I could get rid of Franz. But Franz has moved into Bretonia. He's moved into fucking France. And you know what? France is kind of annoying to deal with. France has a lot of horses. I don't know if the French are known for their horses, but goddamn, does France have a lot of horses. Who is this? Oh, this is one of my heroes. Okay. This is Harry the Hammer, right? Yep. Half the glory available. I still don't have enough. Uh, the cost will decrease as they increase in level, so I guess I gotta farm some levels on this guy. I want to make him a Nurgle Sorcerer. That would be good. Cavalry is from the French word for horse, so I imagine they are pretty good. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that might be why they're ha they have a bunch of goddamn horses all over the place. Because you know what? I'm hoping the fucking vampires take out some of France. And cro oh, God, they are level five. Uh, Bretonia might be a real problem here soon. I imagine Bretonia is not going to not be at war with me for very long. See, typically, typically we would have had, what's his name up here, sweeping in from the north and dealing with Bretonia. We have these vampires dealing with Bretonia. There's another vampire faction over here as well. Um, it does not look like any of that has happened. Ron's moving in has kind of cucked some of their province control, at least. But they still have way too much. I don't like that this is a tier 5 settlement. Oh, hey! Oh, sick! I got the uh, research I needed. Okay. Slime trail for chosen and aspiring champions, which is melee attack. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty good. How do I get another... Ah, that's how. Yeah, let's do that. 20 turns to get Doctor of Death and get my last Gift of Nurgle. And Locus of Fecund... Fecundi? 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 I don't know how to say that. Either way... Each unit of aspiring champions will get... Wait, that's an area thing? Of just a heal? Holy shit. That's like... What's 0. 0.8 times 11? What, whatever that is. That's just a free percentage heal to a whole area. Wow, that's pretty... With three uses of battle for each aspiring champion, I can get a lot of... 0. 0.8. I can get a lot of healing from that. Holy shit, that's actually really amazing. Always like, every time. unit of Aspiring Champions gets three uses of that. Damn, that's strong. Eight times 11. Obviously, if it was one, then it'd be 11. So it has to be less than 11. Uh, it has to be more than one. So we've rolled out two numbers. 8.8. .8. Oh, that is how you math by 11 works, eh? Well, oh, you know what? That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it heals... Hi, who? They've declared war on me. Okay. Good luck. Are you going to try to attack my settlement? Because that's, like, not going to work for you. I foresee destruction. There it is. Um, 13, 11. Uh, I'm going to have to take care of them. They can't attack directly because it has walls, so they'll have to wait at least. Who? Natasha Rus Ruskolnikov. Who? That must be a legendary lord that was in that. Frog fractions made me smart for real, for real. <laughs> Slanesh corruption, diplomatic relations, plus 60 with Kislev. I see. Uh, 
I'm just trying to think of what to do. Hold on. Okay, I have these stupid beast men at my door. Hmm, I bring down Festus. This is definitely the first stage we do. No, Festus go in the water. A feckin' A feckin' At least I learned how to say that word. Um... How do I deal with this? You need a boom. I think for right now, we move you here. And I think what we do is go ambush stance. Allow them to try to attack that. There's marauders here. Okay, now we've got an army of 19. 11, 13. They tech. What the fuck? Oh, you're shitting me. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We're not making the same mistake twice. Missile resist. Plague bearers. Vanguard deploy. Give me that juice. We're infecting you with a plague. Okay. I don't know what this army has. This army has two fucking Cygors. I don't know how they had that. I don't know how these motherfuckers got that. We're getting goddamn uh, vanguard deployment, so if the, we have to fight them, we can just spawn right on them and fucking attack these cygors without having to walk across the field. I am definitely moving Festus down. We're gonna get rid of this fucking army. Kolek, uh, I don't think we have any threats up here we need to worry about. I think I can move Kolek down. Yeah, we'll move Kolek down here. Not gonna worry about that. I am too broke to fix any of those. Uh, hero. Oh, hey, look, the useless guy is finally back. Um, let's go do crimes against Wintertooth so that Archeon likes me a little bit more. Cause goddamn, I don't want to fight Archeon. I will, I will say that I don't want to have to fight him. Can I? Can I? Uh, But at the same time, Archeon has taken Prague. He's taken Kislev. He's gonna be, this is definitely owned by Skaven. So he's like going to be moving down. He's gonna be attacking Drycha for me. He's at war with Drycha. So he's probably at Kislev right now. He's gonna be moving over here to Bekafen. He's gonna take that likely. Then he'll probably blow up the Griffinwood next. If he does that, like that gets rid of one of the threats on my Western, Eastern, this is East, right? North, East. Southwest. Yeah, on my eastern border. So that's actually... That'll be pretty good. Ugh. I'm glad we got to share with Frog Fractions today. Everyone got to learn all about boxing. And Felipe Felipe with the punching method. He was a visionary. Okay, and then Clan Mulder declares war on me. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, that's bad. Close victory. Okay, what is this army? This army is all trash. That's not scary. You're the caster, right? Yeah. This army, the main threat are these minotaurs and cygors. Everything else is actually trash infantry. So, I made a quick save, but I think we can fight this. I think we can win. Um, Like I said, the Cygors are the biggest threat. I, I got to see where my ally is coming in. <laughs> uh, they're so deploying so far away. No. Not what I needed. Ow! Why, Cappy? Why would you do that? Ow! Lost why? What the fuck are you guys doing? What is this fucking combo attack bullshit going on that you coordinated this is clearly a coordinated assault against me and you know what i can respect it what is going on y'all you guys missed frog fractions you missed learning all about frogs and fractions and felipe felipe and boxing 
and making bug porn. We really didn't? You did! You missed out on frog fractions! God, I can't believe you guys don't know about bug porn now. Look at this. It's Lost's favorite unit. The Nurglings. Look at them. They're just happy little fellers. One of you make Voltron. One of you make Voltron. Do it. There it is. Nurgling Voltron. Aw, it fell over. Oh, another one made Nur Voltron, but they fell over. I want like an up close shot of Voltron as they're forming it, but none of them are doing it. They're all doing the tower. Oh, stop doing the stupid tower. Make Voltron. Okay, whatever. We're done with that. I love these little idiots. They're pretty funny. They're just funny little dudes. Okay. The threat is the Cygors. This is Operation Murder the Cygors. With these units. Oh, wait, hold on. I should... Um, Let's put the Chaos Spawn in the middle. We'll I'll just have them cr gate crash. Uh, We'll put the Chaos Warriors here. I'm going to bet the Cygors on the left. Okay, that's one unit. These guys. Okay, this is actually a simple army. You guys move over here. I'm going to bet the Cygors are somewhere over on this side. Mm, I have no spells as a death caster that do damage. That is the biggest problem we're going to deal with right now. For, for the lore of death, it sure doesn't cause a lot of death. Where are they? They deployed all the way back there, these assholes. Okay. Yep, and the Cygors are the ones that are in the original. They don't have ranged. Move the flyers back there right now. Move the Lord up front. Maybe they'll try to aim for my Lord. That is what I can hope for right now. Like I said, these assholes for only having one eye sure have really good depth perception at throwing these goddamn rocks. So the quicker I can make it that they don't throw rocks at me, the better. Do they have magic resist? They don't, but they also have 7,000 HP. Big boys, they're pretty big. There's also this unit of minotaurs, which if the computer uses well, could become a problem if they cycle charge them. Um, I'm hoping my army can at least bog them down and they don't get too many cycle charges off. Because I have my flyers, which I'd normally deal with them with, are going to be busy dealing with the Cygors. Because these are really annoying artillery units. Quote unquote artillery, when it's just a big motherfucker throwing a rock. But they will also cause a shitload of damage. Good, they're targeting my lord. Perfect, that's what I want. That's what I need. Because now I can bait some shots as my army approaches and not get hit. Oh, they're not. That one is. That one's targeting me. Nope. He's changing. Okay, now he's targeting me again. They just changed targets to all of these flyers back here. Actually, Dreyth blocked us from bug porn. Rude? Yes. I can't show that on stream. You guys can't be looking at the bug porn. God, you gotta pay for it. It already cost us... It cost us so many Zorknoids to make a megabyte of bug porn. You gotta pay the Zorknoid tax. Where can I spawn a unit of Plague Bears that would be most effective? I think 
to delay all of these guys that are going to be trying to come in to help. I think that'll be best. You don't kink shame, but sounds like you're about to do a lot of kink shaming. Okay, this Saigor is bogged down. These units are bogged down. I want to target this Saigor with everything I have. I want to get rid of this Saigor. I, I really need to get rid of them. They're the... These Ungors are like literal trash units. These things are such a non-threat. The only other threat are these Minotaurs. Which, if I can take out the Minotaurs... Then they've got nothing left. Moving fast! Ah, rock! <laughs> Just barely dodged that. Um. Hey, man. How'd you take it away? I'm going to use a spell on... I'm going to use my bound spell on this. Cast that. Oh, yeah. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. Okay. Those are all running. Pull these out. 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 Ah, rock! Run! <laughs> pull these out. Pull these out. Pull these out. Pull these out. Rock! Hat hair? It's not hat hair. That's just how my hair looks. What do you mean? Um... Okay, that Ungor ran off screen. That's what I want. Where's the other one at? He has reinforcements, but I'm going to be real. I don't really care about the reinforcements. They're not super threatening. Uh, there's the other Ungor. You know what? That's actually... It's being mo mogged. Bogged. Bogged down. That is the word I am trying to say. So I probably don't need to worry about it too much. Target this Beast Lord. Let's hit it with Spirit Leech. Oh, finally. I just realized I have a horse. I actually have mobility again. Okay. Um. No, you know what? No, let's kill the Saigor because it's still a threat because it's still very good in melee. Give these guys fear so that they can just ruin enemy leadership and the enemy is really close to a wall so that will cause them to run off the field. And let's heal the let's heal the people in it back here. Heal up the damage they take. What do you mean? Hmm, sure, by the way. It's just what my hair looks like. Um Minotaurs, Marauders. I need to pull these out. I need to take care of the guys shooting me. They're causing too much damage. Okay, reallocate our resources right now. We take our flyers, and we get rid of all the assholes with bows. That is the next strategy, and then we will go deal with the Saigor. The Saigor is not causing a whole lot of damage because it's being bogged down. Let's put another unit of these guys here. Good thing we actually plagued up this time. There's such a huge difference in making sure we have a plague going before we start a fight. Mostly because we can get two free units. Okay. That's taken care of. And now we can take care of this unit. Huggies. Uh, I don't need all of you running this way, by the way. Like this. Where are my allies at? Are you guys gonna help? Let's 
Attack him! Charge! You've got a horse! Use it! Die! Um... Let's go hit this spearman herd. We can drop right in on top of them and cause a lot of damage. Let's also heal these plague drones. Attack you. Are these minotaurs? They are. Um, good. This is going well. Okay, and we win. They're about to chain route. And there it goes. Yay! The stupid Cygors weren't a problem. They're the, they, those things make me fear for my life every time I fight them. Because goddamn, if I have an infantry heavy army, do they just ruin my day? Hey, my hat's back. Ha ha! We actually won before the hat came back. What? What? What are you doing? Stop walking next to him. Attack him. Kill it with fire? What? Oh god, it's shrewdle? What's a shrewdle? Hey, Lost, do you like mosquitoes? Hee hee. Hee hee. Look at these fun fellers. Look at these guys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Zoomed in too much. Look at these guys. They're the... They're keeping the bug porn emporium afloat. They are star buyers right here. You hate that? Why? Look at them. They're like such good, strong units. Look, they're just like funny little mosquito guys. Look at them. Look at them floating around. You like the dragon? You like the dragon? The dragon's cool, right? But these guys, these guys are even cooler, right? <laughs> blub, 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 blub. Look, they're a little fuzzy too. They're a little hairy. Ooh, look at that. Look at this guy. Look at that face. Look at him. He's just this funny little guy. Look at this little face. Look at this eye. He doesn't have a damn thought going on behind his head besides murder. I haven't killed it. Uh, ha I haven't killed it, but no one said I need to let it out of the ball. That's also true. What's happening over here? Aw, he just spitting everywhere. Look at him. They're so funny. Oh, I lost a unit of Nurglings. Well, I guess out of everyone, they're the most sacrificial, so. I guess it makes sense. <sighs> the Psychors didn't die, sadly, but they are injured by a lot. That also has the advantage of leveling up some of my Marauders, which is good, because I need them leveled up. Ooh, 500 souls is a lot. Ooh, but that's a good heal. That is a good heal, and their army is not dead. I think we go for the heal. Okay, nothing to deal with here. I could go smack Wrecker's Point. I guess it depends on if I can handle these guys alone. They have eight. Okay, yeah, I can probably kill them. They're gonna run, is the problem. Okay, I thought I was done with this area, but I guess I'm gonna have to smack down this asshole because he went right back to war with me. How many, wait, how many settlements do you have? Six. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, no, six. I think they have the TiVo. And honestly, if I wipe out Hill Pit, that'll be a huge portion of their power. Uh, I'm going to have to go to war with Archeon. I don't... Oh, wait. Military actions against Clan Mulder. <gasps> Let's go! They don't like Clan Mulder anymore. Okay, good. Good. This will actually improve relationships with Archeon. Perfect. That's what I need. Again, I don't want to go with Arche... I don't want to go to war with Archeon if I can avoid it. The more I can have him do his little rampage without having me in the path will be better. Lord not moved. Um... Okay. I think we actually do take Festus and we go... Uh, I don't want to just leave these guys. They're going to become a problem. Like, they're going to be actually an annoying problem. Okay, let's go back. Let's take Festus back. He can go down here and then he can deal with these guys. Egrim can't catch up, so that's unfortunate. Can he recruit? He can. Um, we don't really have a good selection of recruitment. Uh, it's so hard to get aspiring champions, by the way. Because just, we don't have undivided corruption, so we don't spawn a lot of, uh, aspiring champions. We have Nurgle corruption, which doesn't help champions to spawn. Which is very unfortunate, to be honest. So it does take a hot minute to get aspiring champions. There. A building to help that? Not really. Okay. We shall weave the fates. Um, boy howdy, do I wish there was a a, a good fucking spell for a death caster that actually did damage. Um, if I had the souls, I could make him a Nurgle caster, but I don't have the souls to spare. I need more souls. We need to start raising settlements. You have my okay, well, until that time, let's go with... Does Demon Darkness... Nope. Does Soul Blight? Does Soul Blight have an area effect? It does. Okay, let's go with Soul Blight. Oh, wait, I have two levels. You can just get two levels of Doom and Darkness. By the Eldritch, I see. Path to Glory, we don't have the souls for that. Looks this way. Hero move. Okay, now... About this. Since Archeon doesn't like Molder anymore, we can do hero actions against Molder. We have so many infections. Let's make a plague here. Um, This needs to spread. And we will give... Uh, control, and base weapon damage minus on enemy armies. Sure, why not? Do we have one that's base Festus's Bubos? Uh, no, because we need Gut Rot to do that, which is the last one. Okay. Oh, there you go. You guys can have that plague. Kolek needs a plague. Olek, him get it to normal missile resist, plague bearers, vanguard. There you go, Kolek. These can almost become chosen. Hi. Non aggression pact with Harold. Harold Death Metal. Oh my god, this man's name. You guys, hold on. You guys have to see this name. <laughs> That's amazing. This motherfucker's name is Harold Death Metal. What a good name. <laughs> I love that one. All right. All right. You can have the non aggression, -aggression pact. What a Chad. He fucking went, what's a hardcore fucking name I can get? I know. Death Metal. 
That's a good name. I like that. We are down to, um, there's under a hundred factions left. If you notice at the top, there's 99 factions left on the map. We're also going to be getting close to, we're going to be getting close to the end game scenario as well, because we're on turn 92. So that's going to proc decently quick. Rot has a 20 stack. He's backed up by a 12 stack. Oh, his 20 stack is deadly as well. I have Chaos Warriors, which helps. His army is mostly armor piercing at this point, though. I don't think I can fight him alone. I think I need to go here and ambush him. We have to get a lucky ambush is what we need to do. Yeah. Because Festus is down here dealing with this problem. And these annoying assholes. Wait, is this a river? No, it's not. Okay. It takes a lot of movement to cross a river, which is really annoying. didn't get an underway interception on them last time they did that that was really annoying be nice if we could get that give me this piece of nurgle i need this i have a feeling throg is gonna want to war deck us again here shortly wait why are these guys pissy again oh right because they don't like nordland yeah, that seems to make sense. I do indeed have an empire faction as one of my vassals. Well, now we're going to have to be going to war with fucking Kol or not Kolek, Archeon. That's going to be such a problem. I don't have I don't have the forces to deal with that. Oh, goody, they're attacking me. Wait, they avoided the ambush then. Like, the ambush just straight up didn't trigger. Okay. Sure. Can I win this? We do have really good missile resist, so we do have that going for the army. Because the plague gave us a shitload of missile resist. Please, Pokebot, give me the legendary. Is that a legendary? The If the bot didn't announce it, I don't think it's a legendary. What is that? Whoa, it looks like Lost Snailer at sea. Oh, it does make sense that she would want it then. Oh, I'm coming in as reinforcements. So I just do nothing for a minute 30. Okay. Um... Yeah, good luck, allies. You... Yeah, you guys are fucked. It's the legendary, but not, if that makes sense. It doesn't, don't worry. Okay, I don't do anything for a minute 30 because I'm coming in from off's map. Um, My allies are fucked because there ain't no way they're holding out. He hangs out in an ancient cave and you have to do stuff to unlock it. That doesn't sound like a legendary, though. What's the capture rate? It's not that... It's the, the capture rate's pretty damn high. I don't think he's a legendary. Portable Pluto, thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. I hope your day is going fantastic. Very much appreciate that. Uh, 
I want to be out of range of some of their range shit before I move up. Move these guys over here as well. I have no spells on this guy. He's useless. I like your hat. I had to follow. Hey, thank you very much for that. Everyone loves the hat. The hat is very good. I'll agree. Now he's labeled as a legendary on Volpedia. He's just neat. He's a snail. Also, not very hard to catch, but y'all are failing. Wait, what if I do this? <laughs> hey, thank you for the head pass, Misty. Oh, okay. Well, I failed. They slither away all the time. Do they really? I don't know Pokemon at all. Get fucked. Hey, don't make me Master Ball it. I will. I won't hesitate to Master Ball a bitch. Hey! Oh, shit. Hello. Who are you? Are you shooting my champions? Why would you do that? Congratulations, you didn't hit any of them. Let's go! <laughs> Portable Pluto comes in and just snipes it from y'all. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go, Pluto! Okay. Uh, these guys need to go attack. <laughs> We're being a shot at. That's a problem. Let's move Kolek up front so that he gets shot at and not them. Let's move you. You're going to be attacking. Move you up. Move you guys over here, I guess. I don't know who that's targeting. It's targeting no one. You keep trying to hit my units weird um gatling guns rattling guns rattling guns are a problem it is true there are warp lightning cannons fuck there's so many high priority targets we need to deal with okay um Kolek, you have to go here This guy can hold the line for a bit. So we'll just send him into those storm vermin. The war shrine, I really think the war shrine is going to get sniped by the uh, mass amount of ranged units they have. The flyers are going to be hard pressed to get in because they just have so much uh, ranged. Get the dragon in this side as well. Bullock needs to go over here and take out some of these. This unit of plague bearers are going to help. Where's the, where's the rattling guns? Yes. Rattling guns need to die. Uh, oh, there's more of them over there. That's a problem. Move you over here. Yep, that's Crack's Call. Not Crack's Call. Howling Warp Wind. My flyers can't move. These guys are getting shot to shit. Um, okay, here's what you guys need to actually do is you need to go over here. Fuck. How many are actually left in this team? 10 out of 24. Okay, we can reposition Kolek. Kolek, stop attacking. Kolek, stop attacking. You need to move. We need you elsewhere. Uh... I need to move you guys over here. Jezails. I don't think the computer is going to micromanage those well. The rattling guns are a bigger threat because they will use them to shoot Kolek. And Kolek can get torn to pieces by them. That's extended cast range. Not useful. Um, Rot is also here, which is a problem. I don't like the Throts on the field. There's just so many targets I need to deal with. Okay. What are my champions doing? My 
Champions are dealing with plague bears. Fair enough. And a doom wheel. Fair enough. Okay, they are busy. Collect shift targets. These are all storm vermin. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, mortars. What are these? Jezails. Okay. Rattling guns is what I want to kill. Their lines are breaking, which is actually really good for me. Kill the... Kill the... I think you are blowing up more of your own units doing that, but you know what? More power to you. Chaos Warriors. Okay, yeah. We can do that. These are Chaos Warriors. They can take out these Storm Vermin, I hope. Uh, I don't know what you guys are doing over here. You're not doing much. Okay. These are finally in position. So now we can have them attack the Jezails. The Dragon can attack the Catapult. The Catapults probably aren't very dangerous, actually. I hate that spell. Use this. Give them a plague. The Chaos Warriors are running. Why? Okay, these are death load bombardiers. Let's kill them. Chaos is magic. Death. Chaos sorcerer. Um, target the plague monks with that. Dragon still cannot fucking fly. God damn it! Fuck this spell. I'm so tired of this right now. What? I'll just blew up your own units. Oh, there's a hell pit. Move this out. Um. Where's this gonna be most useful? Of Jezails. I think taking out the Jezails is probably the key here. Let's do that. These units move them over this way. I think this line needs more reinforcement. These guys. Quite honestly, the, the aspiring champions are doing just fine right now. My one sorcerer is running. It's not very surprising. Okay, kill the hell pit. Hell pit's a problem. This demon's about to die because... Fucking demon, uh, instability, instability. This is a sorcerer. You shouldn't be here. Where are you guys at? Um, that's a warlock master. That's poison wind, globadiers, jezails, poison wind, death globes. Kill the jezails. The mortars aren't super accurate, so I'm not really worried about them. The aspiring champions are just doing their thing over there, which is great because they're holding up a lot of units. I want to maneuver you guys around. And I want to kill this help it as soon as I can. No, target the hell pit. Target the hell pit. Target the hell pit. Oh, these death globes. Oh, 
take that spell again. Okay. No, those are those are Skaven slaves. Don't care about those. These guys are all running. Kill this Doom Wheel. Get rid of all of their high value ones to make them break. Um, poison wind mortars. If I go here, I can take out a lot of units actually. Where's the dragon? Dragon is taking out these guys. You attack these poison winds. You take out Throt. I'm pretty sure Cola can kill Throt no problem. You target. That is indeed a lot of guys. There's a lot of high value troops, and that's a problem. I mean, it's also because they're Skaven. They just have high unit infantry as is. It's like a unit of. Uh, like. A unit of Storm Vermin, for instance, has 120 units in it to begin with. This one ran. Of Granted, only has 59 left alive. Oh my god, I can see mass numbers if I ho hover? Hold on. What? Holy shit. Also, my hero died. That's unfortunate. Okay, good. They're breaking? They might chain route. They might chain route from this. They did! Oh. Good old Skaven, you can always count on them to chain route. Good shit, we won. So, that is the nice thing about fighting Ratmen, is you can always count on them to run away. If nothing else fails, they will run away at the very least. And so as soon as some of their units started routing and breaking, it caused a chain reaction down the line which caused their whole army to run and break. And now I'm going to clean up as many units as I can because I don't want them coming back. Arcane torment awaits. Well, like, get out of the forest. You're not very quick in the forest. So I want to kill this warlock master. I don't think he's level 20, so they're going to lose him if I do that. Kolek, attack. Do it. Kolek, go. Kolek, smack. There you go, buddy. Um, and then... I want to heal this up. The, the war shine is really injured. Oh, there we go. The warlock is dead. Perfect. Get rid of these damn poison wind globideers. Get the superior, the smug snake. Very nice. Congratulations on that. Making up for all the missed catches for the other day when the game just was really adamant on not giving you anything. All right, cool. I killed the units that I was worried about. Nice. Let's go. Oh, we got a heroic victory. Is that worse than a close victory? I don't remember. We did lose two units of Chaos Beast, which is or Beast of Nurgle, which is unfortunate. Um maybe I replace them with Chaos Spawn so that I can turn them into greater spawn at a, in a later point. Oh hey, our hero isn't actually dead. He just retreated off the battlefield. Good. I think she killed 115. That's pretty impressive. It was so stubborn the other day. I know. It was so unfortunate. Goodbye, Beast of Nurgle. I wish these things were like more resilient. I guess they are already pretty resilient. But they just like they get shot so easily. So many points were lost. Rip your points. I I really need the heal. Actually, we're gonna do that.
we do heal at the start of our turn replenishment kicks in at the start of our turn so we should be decently healed up i think because we're in ally territory why are you even attacking me oh it's a beast path interception get fucked fuck you get out of here ruin is the teacher we can get experience gift activation bonus experience for Kolek. Ooh, that one's pretty good or gifts of chaos activation costs or unit experience gain actually you know what unit experience gain because then i can get more xp obviously Kolek did not get the trait for beating throt which is unfortunate because that would be a very good trait for Kolek, because that's 10% more HP. Oh, well. Oh. No, blame you, you. Ah, <sighs> they really don't like Nordland. Which does make sense. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh I think I just crashed the game. I think I just froze my model as well. Goddamn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Pause, champ. Pause, champ. Hold on. VTube Studio is frozen. Well, actually, not frozen. It's it's just very laggy because the game is lagging. No, the game's not even lagging. VTube Studio is just being stupid. We back. Wait, did I disconnect or something? I don't have dropped network frames. When you say we back, did we disconnect? Also, I'm going to restart VTube Studio because VTube Studio is being dumb. Unless it's fixed. Oh, there it goes. I just had to threaten to restart it and it fixed itself. See, that's the play. The game doesn't like zooming out a whole lot. Cause so like when I zoomed out and then zoomed back in. It was loading uh, a bit. So it might've just been me. Huh? I don't have dropped network frames. So I don't know why it would do that. Interesting. Yeah, because I don't have any dropped frames. weird well it seems to be fixed now obs isn't reporting any problems my the bit rate's still at 6k as well so it should be good i don't know that might have been an issue on twitch then now granted my model did freeze because vtube studio decided to lag out but uh i don't think there's a network issue at least not on my end from what it seems like Now we'll trust everything is okay now? Probably for the best. Yeah, it looks like everything's fine on my end. Um, what am I doing with Festus? I forget. Hi, Archeon. What is your army look? You are level 41! No! Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Slight problem. He's pissed at me because I'm allied with Nordland. Technically, I took them as a vassal. Either way, he does not like Nordland. I really want to avoid going to war with Archeon. He has really strong magic items because he is the ever chosen. He has really strong, unique heroes and lords behind him. He's got really strong armies. I don't even know how strong this. He's got a sorcerer of Zinch of metal. He's got an exalted hero of Nurgle. That's great to hear. Ooh. 
Oh, okay, wait. This guy's level one and this guy's level two. Okay, these heroes aren't actually that scary. He just recruited them. Ready. I'm sure his army's all chosen at this point. And he's been rolling through with a shitload of uh units. Uh What do you want, putrid cretin? Don't mistake this parley for anything else. Semperate fools! You dare come Problem, 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 problem. Tempest incarnate! Okay, well, for now, for now, let's go beat up Throt shit just so that we can earn some points with him because he doesn't like Throt. So we're going to go beat up Throt so that he can be somewhat less pissed off at us. I would much rather him go and attack the, the Empire than me. I'm going to be real, but I have a feeling that's about to change next turn because he's right here. There's no reason for him to go this way otherwise. I could theoretically take him if I do a, if I do 40 versus 20 on his army. I'm sure his army is very built up at this point. The thing of a Chaos Warrior army is if I can wipe out the army, it takes a while to build up another strong one. Because you have to promote units up through, from Marauder. Physician. Of blight. Mm. Let me do Did this apply to my flying unit? It does not. I'm gonna assume this missile resist. For flying units and melee attack and sp okay yeah actually let's do that but these guys aren't going to apply because we're going to upgrade them to death heads Which gets them a ranged weapon that's very useful there we go death heads um not gonna be able to do it on this army you have no we have one what do we need to upgrade this? Rank six. That's not very high. That's that's doable. That is doable. Uh, okay. Kolek needs units. Kolek needs to go back to the Tower of Crack and get some crack. The mountains call. Kolek is also going to power himself up. Kolek is talking as he's in third person. Also armor. This serves the dark powers. Okay. Uh, this. Hero armor. Let's see. What? This hero. Killing blow. And HP. Let's see. This sorcerer. Thank fuck you are a sorcerer that has useful spells. Good. Now we see. Path to glory available. Mark of chaos. 2000. I have... Yeah, let's go Lord Nurgle. Let's turn you into a Nurgle caster. I, I need Nurgle. He is such a better casting. Wait, who is this? Uh, success chance. Unassigned skill points. Nurgle movement. This. What does Children of Nurgle do? Uh, oh, it's a heal. Okay, yes. Stream of Corruption. Advanced Visitations is the single target. Yes. Do that. Do evasion. Perfect. Lots of spells. How's the Nurgle run through? Well, I'm very worried Archeon is going to war deck me next turn. So right now, I'm kind of just prepping because I have a feeling that's about to happen. Otherwise, it's going great besides the fact that Archeon is at my doorstep, which is a little worrying. I really don't want to deal with that one. Franz is also like around, but Franz has been beaten down a few times. But how are you doing, Jiraiya? Welcome on in. Um, I don't want to use money on building this turn. Okay. We're gonna hit end turn. Chat, I need to run to the restroom real quick, so I'm just gonna throw it on the BRB screen, and I will be right back in one moment. Um, but I really need to go pee. 
Oh, hey, look, Throt's attacking me. Hey, I can get the trait. Nice. So we'll do this after I get back. Anyways, be right back. <clears throat> oh, God, my voice is also cracking. Be right back. Boop. And we're back. The voice break? I know. I was like really struggling to hold it in because I really, really had to piss, which did not help anything. <laughs> it was like, oh God, I really need to piss. That whole end turn segment, I had to like go piss at the start of it, but I really just wanted to finish off the turn before I uh, ran uh, to the bathroom. And it's just like, it, it got really rough there at the end. I'm like, oh my God, I want to finish it. I want to finish the turn really quick. Ah, die. Uh, quoted Leaf, thank you very much for the raid, Raiders. Welcome on in. How are you doing? How did your stream go? Hello, Basil, by the way. How are you doing today? Thank you very much for the raid and welcome on in. How are you doing? What were you up? To? Oh, Total War, let's go. Welcome in. We are also Total Warring with some good old Nurgle here. Raiders, welcome in. If you don't know who I am, my name is Drive, your local demon hunter for hire variety streamer and today we are spreading rotten plague and disease to the empire it, it, n n never mind that there's Kolek. he's 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 very plagued up he's plague pilled but also what is up basil hello hello you're sad you're here i'm sad so i'm here now oh no why are you sad i hope you share i hope you i hope things get better for you okay I think we still have our plague, so we should have Vanguard. Yes, we do. I am enraged! <laughs> I just saw you were playing, so thought it would be a good choice. Hell yeah. Welcome on in. Thank you very much for that. Uh, where's his reinforcements? I assume he's going to deploy somewhere over here, actually. A new goal. Okay, uh, let's do this. Dowie or green skins in a tavern brawl? In a tavern brawl? Dowie. If it's a tavern brawl, it's not going to be a whole lot of people in there. You can only fit so many people in a tavern. Therefore, it's going to be lower numbers. And therefore, the green skins won't have the superior numbers to use. And thus, they are weaker than a Dowie in that sense. Also, a tavern is like a Dowie's natural home. It's like they're an ancestral environment. That's just home turf advantage for them. Armies of the Dark Gods. Easy choice. I messed up on a painting? No! Can you pull a Bob Ross and fix the painting? I don't know if that's actually a thing you can do. I was wrong. He deployed over there. Okay, we're just gonna attack because like he's got so few troops. I just want to wipe out as many as I can before his reinforcements get here. We're just gonna take Kolek up and we're just gonna smack him into the line. 
Olek says he is awake. He is very woke, chat. Woke. -ch. He's got two units of reinforcements? Excuse me? Oh, he does. They're trash units, but he's got two units. Go, Plague Drones! Okay, he's got Mortars, he's got Doom Flayers, he's got Catapults, which are actually the bigger issue, so if I can threaten the Catapults, that would be good. Where's, where's Kolek? Kolek, go! Ow! Why? That hurt! Oh, what is up, Lon? How are you doing? Uh, Okay, move you up here. I'm new to both streaming and Total War, so I'm glad... Uh, to learn uh, from others. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know how much y'all will be learning here. I'm not exactly the brightest in the bunch, but well, come on in. Oh, go do your homework. Is Basil needing to do homework? No. <laughs> um, okay. Corn. Okay. Again. We're fighting Skaven, so we want to take out their range as soon as I can. The catapults are repositioning, so they're not a threat right now. The rattling guns, however, are a threat, and they can shred Kolek. The other ones, I'm not too worried about. The plague drones, I think, are better off on killing... Ah, uh, see, they're really close to Throt, which is con concerning. Because they always refuse to do it. Yeah, they need... Oh, I see. I don't have homework today. You just said you ruined a painting. Doesn't that mean imply you would have to redo said painting? Go do your homework. From work, how's taking over the world going? I am concerned what's about to happen at the end of this turn. Otherwise, it's going well. Uh, no. No, no, no. We're not doing that with Kolek. Kolek's taking out key targets like Throt. I forgot we have summons. Get rid of these fucking catapults. Um, are you on a chariot? Ah, oh, Cringe, you're on a chariot! I don't want to have to micromanage a chariot. Fuck. Okay. He, that is a unit of clan rats sent to try to tar pit them. I'm not doing, I'm not falling for that. Um, I throt. What are you doing here, buddy? What's the dragon doing? Dragon kill the rattling guns. Plague drones. I hope you're attack. There's rat ogres. Where did the rat ogres come from? Ah! Uh, okay. So rat ogres, scary. Don't really want to deal with them. Pull the flying's out. Pull the flying units out. Pull the flying units out. Okay. I'm gonna have to pause a lot because I need to. I there's. With this army, I have a lot to focus on. I have too many different kinds of units. Which makes it a little hard to tell what I need to do. There are mortars somewhere, and I don't see where. But I am getting bombed. And I'm trying to figure out where the mortars that I haven't... Ah. The painting was going to be for fun, but it made you sad. Ah. Okay. You have regen? I swear you have more HP than what you started with. Oh, well, now you have less HP. You are fucking dying. Mm, I gotta- I gotta swap him back to a horse. I hate micromanaging chariots. I like rattling guns, actually. Dragon is good. Move the dragon back. Kill the rat ogres. The reinforcements haven't shown up yet. They don't show up for 25 more seconds, so we're in a good position there. Um, Throt is injured, so I'm just gonna take Kolek back here and attack this. My plague drones. Okay, we're out of that, so we're gonna attack them. Take my chariot, wrap it around here, run it into the back of these storm vermin. Take these guys, hit these storm vermin. Good. Yeah, you totally have regen. What are you regening? Oh, you just have regen. Oh, that's useful. Um, what is this? These are Chaos Warriors against Clan Rat... Ling Guns. 
<sighs> at least your dog is with me even if she only wants food that's what that's all the animals but you know what that's what we love them for right 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 i have a doom wheel oh crazy uh what is over here doom flares yeah sure that's a good target mm. you know what Cole? go kill this doom wheel actually that's a threat my magic is ready hit them what about what about my cat what about him he's a good boy Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not shooting me. You're not shooting me. We're not doing this shit. I thought you'd say he was evil. He is. But he's a good boy. He's just an evil good boy, you see? You see? that You can be both. You can be both. I need to reform lines. Uh, throt's back. That's not good. I'm not sure if it's bleeding or if it's paint. Okay, well, maybe you should find out. Maybe if you think you're bleeding, you shouldn't be posting in my chat and maybe fix your injury that you have. I don't know. I don't know what you'd want from me. I'm both not a doctor or your mother. I'm not bleeding. Good. It's just like people will post. I, it's something that bothers me. People will post in my chat of like, oh. I have- I'm bleeding on this. I'm like, why the fuck are you in my chat then? Go take care of it, then come back. What do you want me to do about it? And it's like, I've had people do that. And it's like, what are you doing? Why do I have to spell out, go take care of your injury first before you're in here typing on the internet? It's like things that you think would be obvious to people. Hey, are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. Exalted. We're never going to be there. Deal with it. We're turning back around now because you asked that. So, so I can't be here if my legs cut off. No, go to the hospital. Magic. I accidentally cut Lost's leg off. Go to the police station. Is this a running theme in your chat? Yes. Everyone here is children. Everyone here is not a functioning person and they need me to take care of them. Are we at the hospital yet? You're not going to the hospital. You cut someone's leg off. Dreyth, are we there yet? I'm taking you to the police. Guys, do we have snacks? You are not worrying about snacks. You are missing a leg. Go to the hospital. You're all hungry. I don't care. Do you think I care if you're hungry? I keep you guys in a fucking dungeon beneath the shop. You get food down the food hole once a week. I'm not the person to complain to if you're hungry. I do not care about your plight. I accidentally gouged my eye out. Go to the hospital. That's between you and so. I don't care. Thank you. 
Oh my god, these fucking rats never end. Um, there's artillery. Go tell, kill the artillery. Go snipe this lord. If we snipe the lord, they're going to chain route. The floor goop tastes bad this week. You're not supposed to be eating it. I'm thirsty. Go drink the water in the fucking pond. There's a water hole down there. Go drink that. Would you recommend getting this game? I would. This game... Okay, I, I don't know if I'm the best person to ask because clearly I have a biased opinion. I played number two for 1,500 hours and I uh, waited for Chaos Dwarves to come out before I started playing this game. And since they've come out, I've put in... Qu um, 200 hours. No. No, nah, not quite 200. But I've definitely put in a, a lot of this game. And then... Num Total War 2, I put in 1,500 hours of. So I do enjoy this series a lot. I don't know how good of an opinion I am on this. Okay, there are Gisels just shooting me. Run Kolek over there. Are you the hero? You are. Move you over here. Are any of these my units? What are they attacking? They're attacking Chaos Warriors. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. <clears throat> uh... Right, can we have some money? What the fuck do I look like? A bank? No! With a hat that good, your opinion means everything. Send me money. All of your money. All of your money ever. That is my opinion. No, don't actually do that. Zap. Zap. There it is. Zap. Now stop attacking me. God, they won't leave me alone. I forgot I gave him a regen item, which is kind of busted, to be fair. Ugh. Did we lose anyone? Our... <laughs> this is pure gold. Have a great stream. <laughs> thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. And quoted leave. Thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. Hope your day is going fantastic. Chat is really on something right now. What... Floor goop did y'all eat this time? You're not supposed to be eating the floor goop at all. Why? Why are you guys eating that? I literally want to use it to weaponize it. It's not for eating. It's not for consumption. Flan, you actually missed it earlier. We ran a bug porn emporium. I can't believe you missed the bug porn. Dryth, I threw up. I don't care. Go clean it up yourself. Go get the fucking mop out. You live down there. I don't live down there. You threw up in your own living space. That's your problem. Clean it up. But goop? Yeah, goop. It was fucking... What was it? It was bacon milkshake, I think it was? Y'all missed it when we did... It. We took an hour at the start of this stream to play through Frog Fractions. Frog Fractions is a funny-ass game, y'all. It's a weird-ass trip, I'll tell you that much. And you missed it. You missed Frog. They have Skrulk. That explains a lot. You missed Frog Fractions is all I have to say. I can't believe I followed for Bug Porn and Floor Goop. That's how we get them. That's how we get them. <laughs> uh, I think I need the heal. No, this is not a very good heal. This barely heals me. It heals me enough, I think. It heals me enough. Big stonks on that bug porn emporium. I mean, we just printed free uh, Zorknoids. So, like, fuck it. My term was great. We'll let whoever my successor is deal with the inflation problem. What would you do if I started poking you? I'd probably just remove you. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> now he's immune to plague. Oh, perfect, actually. Because we have to deal with all these fucking plagued assholes. I'm immune to plague attrition and swamp attrition. It's actually... Decently useful. 
because there's a lot more swamps around here than one would imagine. Uh, okay. That's definitely owned by Skaven. Throt is going to be back at full health. I'm going to take this over. I want this to be able to replenish. Yeah, replenish faster. I spilt my monster. Okay. Damn, that sucks for you. It sounds like not my problem, as is everything else you guys have been going on about. Uh, I'm going to give him a Beast of Nurgle. Why do you... I, I don't care that you spilt your monster, chat. I don't care that... I don't care that you broke your elbow. Drive? Yes, lost. How long did it take for your model to be made? Um... The art took... Uh, how long did the art take? The art take what took, what, two or three months? And then the rigging took another... Uh, when I was able to find a rigger, first of all, and then when they were able to start it, the rigging took about two months, I think it is. You're pretty neat. Aw, you're pretty neat too, Lost. Hold on. Hold on, chat. I don't care that you broke your elbow, chat. I just had to go find that sound clip. The plague. Uh, Festus. Let's see. Oh my god, why are there so many beast men down here? Hello? Why are you guys such a fucking menace? Festus, can you go kill them? Get out of my swamp. I wonder where that guy is today. Probably not hearing about his that guy's elbow. I'll tell you that much. How old is that video? I don't know. This is a re-upload. Lord of Light. They are a big fan of my military actions against Mulder, so I do have that going for me. I will destroy. Where's Egrim? There you are. Mm, let's not have you over here. I'm a... Oh... oh Archeon's army looks scary. He's got dragon ogres. I don't like that. Oh, he's got Mirror Guard. How does he have that? He's got Uncle for Uncle. Man. You know what? We're going to fight Uncle for Uncle with our own. I can't really recruit it into Festus' army. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Pause, champ. Colex army. And then when they meet up, we can trade Uncle for Uncle for Dragon Ogre Shagoth. There we go. That'll work out. But Colek can have uncle for uncle. Perfect. Okay. Um, Lord not moved. Egrim, what are you doing, buddy? Uh... I think we need to get you over here. I need another here. That's not what I wanted. Shit. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted. That's a very bad trait and kind of a worthless hero. Sign skill points. 
Olek. Let's go with that. This serves the dark powers. Feels like this campaign is very close to just going off the rails. I have too many threats to worry about on all sides of me at the moment. Of darkness. So it's like I don't have a clear path of what I want to do right now. Guys, can I draw you? Absolutely. Go for it. What's your favorite Pokemon? I don't know Pokemon at all. Uh, my favorite Pokemon is probably Rayquaza. I don't even know what a Miss Mag Magius is. Rayquaza is probably my favorite because it's a cool dragon snake. And it goes woo in the air. Good. Now we see. That's that's my logic there. What is thy will? Chaos Sorcerer. Can you delay his army? Oh, thank God. Ha <laughs> ha. Go. Okay, he still has a lot of movement. I don't know how he has so much movement. Wait. Weird. Let's upgrade Doomkeep. Upgrade that for more cash. Upgrade this for more cash. Okay. Skip that. And... Colex Plague has run out. Right? Yes. Give Colex a new plague. Missile resist. Summons. Vanguard deployment. On to Colex. New plague, baby! Skaven Plague. Wait. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize this. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. The, it does make sense. A Skaven Plague is still a form of plague. Therefore, playing the Nurgle army... I get no downside from the Skaven Plague because my army loves plagues of all variety. Granted, the vigor loss reduction for the Skaven troops is kind of useless for me, but I just get free leadership and uh, frenzy from it and casualty replenishment. I'm actually immune to Skaven Plague. Oh, that's hilarious. I, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I didn't really think about it. So since I have no idea what your lower half looks like, I'm just going to guess, uh, is that okay? Uh, why don't you just use the reference sheet I have? There's literally a reference sheet. It's always the second post under my schedule on Twitter. So if you go to my Twitter, my pinned post is this week's schedule. My first reply under it is always my reference sheet. So you don't really have an excuse now that you know that of what my bottom half looks like. So there you go. Dominance! Dominance! Alright, let's see. And turn. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have Twitter anyways. Okay, well, you can also go back in the vo uh, VOD of this stream because I showed off the whole model this stream, actually. So you can also go back in this stream's VOD and just pause it. Hell, I think I even zoomed in on the lower half. Bow. Bow, bow. Uh, oh, this is a beast path interception of the one dude. Ah, oh, finally, this fucking stupid ass army is gone. How did you live? How did you live? Excuse me? Why do you keep popping up random one man armies? Fuck off and die. Fuck you. So tired of that army. I'm putting you in a pretty princess dress anyways. Cataclyst. Okay, well, you can do that. Doesn't mean I'm going to then acknowledge it or appreciate it then. 
I mean, to be fair, yes, people are free to draw whatever they want. I'm also free to ignore it then. Decay brings uh, your model design is so freaking cool. Thank you. Look, if you want to draw someone else in that, go for it. But if you're going to, if, if it's clear that I don't appreciate someone doing that and you do it anyways, I'm just going to ignore it, right? I don't play that shit. God of um, what do I want to do with Kolek? Because, like, I have a design I like of my character, of my VTuber design, right? And I appreciate it if it's stuck to at least somewhat closely and not radically changed. Because if I wanted it to look that way, I would have made it that way, right? And I mean, like, joke art is fine, but I've had people take it too far before. And I don't appreciate that. So at this point, I'm just more inclined to say no, because if uh, if it seems like someone can't understand what the, the line is, then I would rather just it not be... I would rather just be very firm on, on the boundary there, because I've had people not understand that in the past, and I've had to talk to them, and it gets really annoying. You dare? I don't know what to do with this army. Egrim is here, and I don't know what to do with Egrim. Like, I need to put a chaos, or I need to put um one of these. Ex oh, that's like, I mean, it's better than this. It's still not the best trait. Okay, I'll just recruit him anyways. I want to put a exalted hero in his army because he needs the experience gain. Such sickly joy. Um, uh, fuck it. We'll just move you here. I don't know what to do with Egram. Oh, I'm gonna go now. Uh, bye. Have a good stream. Thank you for stopping in. Hope you have a good day. Appreciate you stopping on by. Kolak goes to Fort Ost Ostrosk. Yeah, this is definitely a Skaven. Yep. Okay, we're gonna take Skaven territory away from them, is what I think we do. Uh, I think Skaven get a lot of money from each one of their settlements. I can't see them because they're all fucking hidden because of nature of Skaven. I can't actually see how much money they're getting. This one gets 2,000 gold. I'm not peace treating you again. The last time I peace treated you, you fucking declared war on me again 10 turns later. So these Skaven can go fuck themselves. Um, Kolek, let's see. Kolek's HP can go here. What? Pit of shades. Excellent. Ow. Ow. Um. Yeah. Steel technology. Don't fail. I literally said don't fail. You had one job. Man. Damn it, Arbol. You crit failed the first time you did it. You failed this time you did it. Can you... I am pumping points into your success chance, and you're still failing me, Arbol. Arbol, what are we going to do with you? Uh, I have 4,000 gold. I don't want to use it on building upgrades. I need it in case I need to... Buy an army really quick. Hmm. Okay. Skip that. Ooh, we have a commandment. Uh, we will do growth, I guess. Not really. Oh, actually, you know what? No, we'll do Nurgle corruption because there's a lot of scape and corruption. I want to get rid of that. Okay. Uh, then end turn. I want to get rid of Skrulk.
Oh, okay. Well, Strolk ran away. <laughs> I guess we're not getting rid of Strolk. Let's see. Buildings damaged. Experience for... And allegiance. Or... This will reduce my casualty replenishment rate. And I get more tribute. If I recall, my tribute's probably fucking nothing. Yeah, it would not have been worth it. My tribute from Vassals is 1500. 1504. What is... The fuck is that Pokemon? It's just a giant tree turtle. Torterra. I have I never even heard of that one. God. Stroke marched away. He can't run, and I can get rid of him. We can do that. Ooh, hello. What is this? Banner of Rage. He gives Rage, basically. Does anyone not already have Rage? Kolek definitely has Rage, right? He doesn't. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, let's give Kolek Rage. He's going to get the most benefit from a 15% increase. Get rid of this army. Fuck off. What rank do they have to be to be chosen? Seven. So that's one gold chevron. Okay, so these guys are close to being upgraded to chosen, actually, then. Is there... There's aspiring champions. But there are no... Uh... Ooh, decent chance of dragon ogres here. Sadly, can't get any of them. Wait, how are there dragon ogres here? This isn't mountain climb. Oh, I guess Elpit is mountain? No, it's wasteland. Excuse me? Is this mountain? This is mountain. Oh. Oh, that's what we could do. We could let Archeon just have this whole region, ideally. And then we can get dragon ogres. Because then they get a chance of spawning here. We'll just let Archeon have this region, as long as he doesn't war deck us, which would be really unfortunate. But hopefully, hopefully we can avoid that, right? Um... Oh, yes, let's upgrade these. Upgrade these to death heads. Perfect. Upgrade you to armored. I don't know why I still have that troll around, but uh, while he's here, may as well make him armored. I would love to find some chaos spawn if I could. Lord not moved. A chaos spawn here? Nope, there is nothing here. Oh my god, you are like a fucking plague. Go away. Did you guys raise Crudenwald? You burned my ally's settlement to the ground. Get the fuck out of here. I should have killed you guys when I had the chance. Do not stop. I'm getting rid of them. That's what we're doing with these two armies. We're getting rid of these stupid, annoying beastmen. Revealed all. Uh. Wow, okay, sure. We'll just get devastating charge. You're on a horse, right? You're all on horses. Someone needed to go back on a horse because I don't want to manage a chariot. Yes. You, you're on the chariot. Go back to horse. I hate managing chariots. Because, like, chariots in theory can be really good if you just micro them the whole time. I, I, I don't fucking want to do that. Because you have to cycle charge them and not have them get bogged down in units of infantry. Um... Let's go damage. Your melee defense is already high. Thanks to Mark of Nurgle. Okay, Pit of Shades. Now he has a caster that's actually worth a damn as well. Pit of Shades is a very strong ability. Don't fail. Holy... What? Arbol? Arbol? You have one job! Oh. Arbol, you had a 60% chance. And maybe a 1% chance to crit fail. Arbol... I tell you, this, this, this sorcerer, he, I don't know what sorcery school he went to, but this motherfucker failed all his classes. Their 
Oh, Arbol, what are we gonna do with you? Building upgrade available. I don't want to spend points on that or money on that. Okay. And turn. Whoa, whoa, no. What is this? Oh, this is a throwaway settlement. Go for it. Boop. I want to remove these beastmen from the game. We're down to 97 uh, units. Lords. Who are you? Vassal of Archeon. You know what? I will take that. Having a treaty with one of his vassals will improve relationships with him. And hopefully, again, I don't want him to attack me if we can avoid it. They took Wrecker's Point. Yeah, go for it. Keep it. Uh, okay. Estus, this is the ar- No, that is just another throwaway army that he's got roaming around. Five million armies later. I don't like how the AI is just raising trash armies to just extend their life. Go away! Die! Just stay dead! They're like, they're like rats. That's what they are. They're more rat-like than the damn rats. Not ducks, rats. What is up, Stroka? How are you doing? Welcome on in. How's your day going? Um, ooh, hello, Throt. You are March Stance. Let's get rid of you. We could fight this, but he's got like 10 units. We'll just auto... We took like no injuries from that as well. All right, let's get the souls and the money. <sighs> oh, yes. oh, no, no, no. Deadly onslaught. There we go. That's the better one. Skill points, magic reserves. Let's get Arcane Conduit as soon as we can. How's the chaos spreading going? It is going. Uh, I'm still worried that Archeon's gonna get pissed at us and try to war deck us, but we're we're doing what we can to make him not pissy at us if we can avoid it. Um, otherwise, we have these fucking rats of uh, beast men roaming around that are just spawning out these trash armies that I have to keep knocking down. And that's that 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 part is getting tired. Ooh, hello. That part's getting tiring. I want this. But otherwise, it's going well. How's your day going? Uh, let's level up. I have a lot of money. But not enough that I feel comfortable spending 10k to level up that settlement. I will spend 5k to level up this settlement. Rats, rats. We are the rats. I'm also at war with the rats. Because, like, I, they war decked me. I beat them down. Start of this stream, they peace treated me. Ten turns later, they war decked me again. And you know what? I'm not peace treating them again. We're going to fucking kill off the rats. They wanted this. They're going to get this. I'm EP. Good luck with the rats. Hey, thank you very much. I don't think I'll need the luck with the rats. I'm more worried about Archeon the Ever Chosen. Or Krom the Conqueror. Oh, God. He's got so many full stacks over here. Oh, this is actually terrifying. What do you want, oh, he doesn't Reckon. wanna. Don't mistake this parley for anything else. Oh, his strength rank really fell though. Whoa, someone beat his ass. He was strength rank two not long ago. Now he fell down to eight. One of his armies must have took a beating.
we're gonna get the end game or the the end game scenario happening soon because i think i have it set to happen within turns one 100 to 110 and i think we're coming up on turn 100. Nothing can hello tong what a name trade agreement you're a vassal of archeon you know what i will take that the more treaties i can get with archeon's allies the better Reichland just confederated Ostland. Golak, it's time to break apart Hell Pit. This is a decisive victory. Is this a siege battle? Okay, this is a 20 on 20 fight. I don't want to fight it, Chad. It's a siege fight. Also, he's just got clan rats. I'm going to auto resolve this one because, God, I do not like doing siege fights. 24,000 to sack it. Hell yeah, I'm doing that. Mine. Give me this money. And yoink. All right. We've got 40,000 gold to work with now. And also technically help it. I don't think help it does anything for us. Yeah, not really. Let's put that there. Why not? Um, Lord not moved. Egrim! Where, where's this stupid beastman at? Oh my god. Doctor on call. <laughs> Why do these stupid throwaway armies keep popping up? You're so annoying. The doctor's time is valuable. He's going to beast path across. And of course, I'm not getting interceptions when I need to. <sighs> All right, Egrim. I don't know what you're doing. Um, we're Actually, what we're doing is we're getting rid of this unit of marauders and we're putting this guy into your army. So that we can at least very slowly get experience for the troops. You are going to level up the wound maker. You are going to level up this. You will level up ah, Arcane Conduit so that we recharge when faster in battle. That's good. Building upgrade available. We do have 40,000 now. At the same time, this isn't really in the most defensible position, so I don't really want to level it. And it costs 10 grand. I could level this. It costs 20 grand, but... We don't get a whole lot out of doing that, but we do get a little bit. I think we've got... Nope. I was about to say, I think we've got the tribute leveled up everywhere, but we do not. Okay. We're making 2,000 a turn, which is good. Which gives us lots of headroom to raise another army if we need to. That is a big fucking Pokemon, by the way. That sprite got ballooned way out of control. We're doing this so that we can spread Nurgle corruption. All right, cool. And we will end turn... And yeah. All right. I think that's where we're going to end stream for today as well, chat. We've been going for a good bit. <clears throat> and uh, I, I streamed a little longer just to make up for the time that we were playing good old frog fractions. Let me swap over to here as well. Um, boop. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, F1. All right. But I think that's where we're going to end for today, chat. It's been a good stream. Um, let me look for a raid target real quick. But don't go anywhere. The catch rate? Ooh. I mean, that's not... That's at the very least not the worst catch rate we've ever seen. So... And at least there's that? Copium? <laughs> Either way, uh, stick around just one moment. I'm going to look for a raid target. Thanks for streaming. I'll be sure to catch your next one. Thank you, everyone, for coming on by and viewing the stream and hanging out, chatting, lurking, view watching, whatever it is. Thank you very much. Of course, the stream can't be possible without any of you guys. Uh, and if you came from any of the, if you came, stuck around from the raid, thank you very much for giving the stream a chance and checking it out. And if you're new to the stream, please hit the follow button. I'd love to see you around again sometime. Chat, we're going to be back again next week. Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, and we're probably going to be continuing our Devil May Cry 5 playthrough that we started this Friday. Big Copium, Big Copium.
and uh and if you want more total war we'll be back with total war again next sunday but of course i will be posting a schedule both in the discord and on my twitter tomorrow with the week's plan so please follow me on twitter or join the discord if you want exclamation mark discord into chat to get the link that is definitely where i'm most active that's where i'm posting all of the time this last week i was posting every day about the games done quick runs going on and that is where we hang out that is we have a great community there everyone's very friendly so that is a definitely a great place to hang out and get any updates about me about streams stream ideas anything going on and all of that um but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and raid on over into Alsi, who's playing some Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, do keep in mind there's a few content warnings for DD, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club if you aren't aware of those. So uh, 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 keep that in mind if we head on over there. But I think it's a fun little, fun little VN, right? Right, guys? Nothing bad happens in in Doki Doki, right? Right. <laughs> so we're gonna head on over to Alsi. I'm gonna make some spaghetti after this. I think that sounds really good right now. Spaghetti sounds god damn delicious is what i'm thinking at the moment but yeah uh let's do if you aren't subbed let's do this for a raid message right if you aren't subbed let's do this as a raid message and if you are subbed if i can spell my own name right it's wholesome i promise yeah definitely wholesome that's that's what we're gonna describe it as <laughs> and raid message one if you aren't subbed raid message two if you are subbed thank you again everyone for coming out to the stream and hanging out i appreciate you all uh we're gonna head on over to uh all see we're gonna check out the most wholesome of games and chat i will catch you all next time bye